Welcome to my hoe face. In this part of my full playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3, I certainly do get around, and they just added some new kissing animations, so it's the perfect time. Please do hit like and subscribe, especially if you like these longer videos. Let me know in a comment if you want them to be longer parts. I thought about splitting this one up, but we're getting quite close, and I just thought, you know what, we'll just put a big old chunk out, and you can watch it like Netflix dropping a series on you, come back to it when you want to, and work your way through it. It's a really good one, so um, I hope you enjoy it, and... Thanks for being here. <gasps> a dog. Biscotti. Wait, no. Do. Oh God. Oh, I do have talk to animals on. How are they gonna see it? What happens if they don't see it? Uh, who's a good dog? You're a good dog. Yes. Oh goodness, yes. I am a good dog. Fantastic stuff. Oh yes, you're lovely. You can come back. What a pretty little bow in your hair. With oh, 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 here we go. Here it comes. Calm down. Good dog. Yes, yes, yes. Amazing. Perfect. No notes. <laughs> Thanks. We're both getting affirmations here. It's a win-win. Okay. Is that just an advert for the circus? The circus of the last days has returned. What's up here? See dryads, gin, and dribbles the crown. Um, Back with a new act. A lot of blood and a dead bird? Dead chicken. Seeing all of this in this crops, wouldn't like a cozy, a, a cozy? Sorry. <laughs> a cozy RPG game um, where you plant crops and stuff be cute. Like, no one's ever done it with that kind of style, I guess. Oh my god, look at these two having a picnic. Okay, go talk to them first. That's adorable. Although, if you were having a picnic in this world, wouldn't you go for, like, I'm just people walking past? It's like when people sit in a restaurant and they sit by the window and everyone walking by, like, no, like, does it not even enter those people's heads? They're like, I'm just here eating. I can't be seen. Fine day for it, eh? Got to enjoy things while they last, I suppose. All right, Samways, how you doing? Um, can I help you? This is a private picnic. It's a private picnic, but like I was just saying, you were right by the side of the park there, so everyone looking bars can see you anyway. So it's not really that private, is it? It's not a wall here. You couldn't be bothered to just walk up into a field or behind windmill where no one can see you. All right, bye. Surprised that wasn't more. Right, let's see what all this mess is over here. Take the wood from the car too. Yeah, like a cozy fire. RPG. That'd be cool. And not in the way that like Porsche uh, and those other sort of games are. I know they have like the RPG elements, but literally look like this, but a cozy they game. Just had the sense to move quicker than us. We got here first, friend. You're welcome to whatever scraps we leave behind. Um. I found these apples first. If you're here to fill an empty stomach, look elsewhere. Folks swarmed what little was had, stuff in their pockets. Bloody animals. Okay. Everyone's got the accent here, so I feel like we're in the sort of countryside of uh, Alders Gate. Is this sort of... Remember that spiced apple loaf we had in Because there's hungry refugees. Is that what's happened here? They've like swarmed his stuff. Oh. Hmm. Something over there. What's that? What do we got? Shut it. Scavenge whatever you can from this mess. Will it finally be something good? Not really. And then what's happening here? Cazador's nest, they're talking about. Let me, uh, oh, it auto saved successfully. Okay, let's. <gasps> Windmill! You're cooking. Welcome, friend. You've joined us as we honor our fallen dead. Oh. A somber time. It's not but a barbecue. You've brought a somber guest. I did not think you would willingly return, Spawn. Well, indeed. I was rather hoping I'd never see you people again. 
Honestly. Frey, Valdisk Durovna. Frey, Valdisk Ablast. I feel we're intruding. We should leave quickly. Calm yourself. You will not be harmed. Our leader has called off the hunt. She wishes to speak to you. Im orak nete. Krasin So, the impossible spawn walks among us in the blazing sun. We have been looking for you. It's so nice to see us in the sun, quite literally. I feel like half of this game we've been in dungeons, the, like the Underdark, the sort of murky castles. It's actually so refreshing to see us outside in full light with cutscenes, isn't it? If you want to throw him on that pyre, I fully support that. All right, what do you want? The last time your friend came to our camp, he stole our children, our future. Astarian. When I was hunting you, I was to bring you back here, interrogate you, discover how to save our children, and then destroy you. But things have changed. You have changed. Is it true you left your master? That you broke the spell that binds you to him? Uh, well, I, I mean, uh, kind of. It's a long story, honestly. Hmm. Yes, Astarian's free. Free? Not while his master still lives. But he has, perhaps, earned a second chance. We have tried to save our children once already, attacking Kazadorzar's palace at first light. Even then, it was too well defended. But if his own spawn approached, someone he thought he could control, he would throw his doors open and welcome you in. And once inside, you could do what we could not. You could save the children you damned. You don't know Kazador like I do. He's merciless. You want me to march into the lion's den and save your children? But I promise you, they're already dead. Astarian. A, you never mentioned kidnapping children, I don't think. I thought that would have stuck out. Or that we could have gone there and saved some. Look, how can you be sure? I spent two hundred years bringing him victims! Each and every one was whisked away to be fed on that night. But you never saw him feed yourself. He could keep prisoners for days before killing them. I know our plight is grim, but if there is even a chance to save them, we must take it. If our children are truly gone, then we ask for blood. I know you can understand that, Spawn. Cool axe that she has. <clears throat> Come on, Astarian, it's time for a redemption story. You do what you owe them. I suppose. Yes. Yes. Revenge I can do. Thank you. From me and all my people. If you can do this, we will be in your debt. You. Have lived a life of violence and sin. You have stolen lives, broken families, and caused immeasurable grief. Doing this will not right those wrongs. <laughs> if you're trying to encourage me, you're failing abysmally. But it will be a start. You may still be redeemed. Please go. Time is short, but we will see you again when it is done. Nice. Bringing us back into all that's occurring. Reminding us of Astarian's dark past and the terrible things he's done and that he has to contend with within himself. You know, it must be hard to be a bad person, I guess. I mean, that is kind of the worst of the worst that you can do if he's sort of done that sort of stuff, is imagine. But in real life, I mean, people who have perhaps lived certain ways, then they're like, oh, no. I'm trying to move past it. it must be 
tough. Lathander to light, Salune to guide, Kelv Memberfor to judge and passage provide. I was hoping it'd be a love note. A child's drawing. Maybe I need more pockets. Maybe I need more pockets. Me in any game. Look at this view. Gorgeous. Carry on. No, never mind. I mean, I have a hard enough time just second-guessing every human interaction I have. Like, literally, I'll say hello to my neighbor, and I'll, and I'll go back inside and cringe at myself and be like, Why did I nod like that? Why did I... <laughs> like, God. Never I wouldn't be able to moment. cope if I actually did something terrible. Already, like, reading every email 50 times. A cat! A cat! A cat! A cat! The brain scared the cat off. Where'd you go? Kitty. Cat, cat, cat. Did you go in here? Investigation failed. Someone else have a look. What? Oh my, we have one investigation left. What the hell? What's next, I wonder? It's all on you, sweetheart. Unbelievable. Okay, I just tried for a solid who knows how long reloading and trying to get the investigation to work on this haystack. In the end, I was like, I give up. I looked it up just to see what it was what was in there. It's a single arrow. It's a joke. That to make you keep trying, and it's a, literally like a needle in a haystack. That can't give up now. Is pretty funny. Best be on my way. And frustrating. <laughs> that took so long. Where'd that cat go? I only tried so much because I thought the the cat ran in there. No, oh, Larian, you have a sense of humor. Such a headache. Can't talk just now, sorry. Okay. It's like testament to how interesting all of the characters look, where I'm clicking on like every NPC and I'm like, well, this is going to be a side quest. No, just. They're just like, oh, I'm busy. This has got to be something. I'm not scared of the authorities, but it would be stupid to pick a fight with the fist, right? Nope. Wow. <laughs> it's like. Just, just these little lived, the world feels lived in. It feels like people have their lives that they're going about, and not all of it involves you, which as a Leo is, you know, devastating because of course everything revolves around me. But I click on people, and that's it. It's just a little bit of a conversation. That might be worth a look. Hmm. What was that? A key. Sword courtier's key. Okay. What's in here? Is anyone in here? Knock, knock. Gross. Oh, I wanted to just see if there was... <laughs> I didn't want to sit on it. Oh, hang on. We've got something here. Find the missing letters. Oh, that's the couriers. Okay. And what's down here? Should have a look at my map, actually. I haven't for a long time. Nimble? Nimble? What's nimble? Let's go find out. Nothing hurts anymore. It's a little overwhelming, this place. As someone who needs to find everything and see everything, and it's probably why I'm only sort of coming back to it once a week at the moment, is because it's very... overwhelming. And scary to sort of think of exploring this whole place and doing everything and missing things. Is that where Nimble is? In the cave? Okay. But we'll get through it together. I might have to start sort of just seeing what happens and pushing ahead and being less completion-y. Avenge the Iron Hands. Ah, 
Ah, the gnomes. Hello, gnomies. The boss is expecting you. Hasn't forgotten what you did for him at Moonrise. Sorry, what was your name? Hoagie Nunters. <laughs> Sounds like something that would be in, like, I don't know, the Canterbury Tales or something, or a Buddy Limerick. Her name was Hoagie Nunters. She was a, she was popular with the punters. It stopped, but it'll happen again. It keeps happening. The shivering, shaking, quaking. Don't you feel it? Yes, it is. There's something underneath the city, inside the rock. But when I ask the stone why it shakes, it only screams. I want to go home. There, there, Baldy. We'll all be going home soon. Where home will be after this, who knows? Very curious to see what kind of ending I actually get for my character. And for all the characters. Wolbren Bongal. Good to see you. Wasn't sure you'd make it to the city. Regretting it yet? Well, actually, I spent a oh. lot of time thinking of worst case scenarios while I was locked in that cell you plucked me out of at Moonrise. I didn't imagine anything as bad as this. The Gondians have handed Enver Gortash the means to bring about the end of liberty in Baldur's Gate. And the citizens have rolled out the red carpet for the new tyrant. Resistance fighters are few and far between. My iron hands, what's left of the Harpers and you, I hope. Sounds Welsh. Listen, Gortash is a dead man. I have reasons of my own. As long as our objective is the same, the reason doesn't matter to me. We have a common enemy. Yeah. But neither of us gets what we want until we deal with our biggest obstacle. The Steel Watch. They're a threat to you, me, and every man, woman, and child in this city. They act all civilized, servants of the people, but they only serve one man. When he becomes Grand Duke, it will only get worse. Laws will change, freedoms will vanish, and soon you'll be accused and sentenced before you've even committed a crime. And the fucking Gondians. Tories. Are to oh, God, yeah, Gondians. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, cheer up, Wolburn. We're here to help. I heard about that. You had the Harpers all excited, but there aren't many Harpers left. These Steel Watchers, one of them is the equivalent of a Red Dragon. An army of them. Well, there's never been an army of dragons. Okay, well, I'm not scared of dragons or steel watchers, she said, her lip quivering. There's a line where bravery becomes stupidity. Oh. You just crossed it. Scared or not, you can't take down every steel watcher in the city. Unless you hit the people who build them. The Gondians. They've always been happy to provide their technology to despots in exchange for a stipend and the freedom to work in peace. They would have licked Saravok's boots, given the chance. And now they'll kiss Gortash's ring while this city screams. I had a plan to put a stop to them. But the way things are now, if we stick our heads above ground, the watchers are on us like flies on shit. So what is the plan? Same as it always is. Eliminate the threat. In this case, the foundry where these atrocities are produced. Another foundry. The Gondians are ingenious, but we're more than equal to them. There's nothing they can build that the Iron Hands can't tear down. I've built something unique for just that purpose. I don't a actually know powder bomb. what a Gondian is. First of its kind. Fifty wizards high on the weave couldn't summon this kind of firepower. Get the bomb inside the Gondian facility and boom. Problem solved. Right. Hmm. It's a 
mass murder's a bit far. <laughs> Those metal monsters spit in nature's face, but mass murder is a bit far. Maybe the Gondians are victims, not oppressors. I don't know what a Gondian is. I'm just thinking of Gondor. Um, give me the bomb. I'll make sure nobody survives. Guard, Gondian, or passerby. Look, maybe mass murder is a bit far. It's liberation. The Gondians picked their side the minute they took orders from Gortash. If they had any courage, they'd have refused him and died like heroes, spitting in his face. Now they'll die like the dogs they are. <sighs> I, oh, I don't... I, I, I understand the importance of it. But as a group that is seeking redemption along all of our paths, myself, Astarian, and Shadowheart, Karlak less so, but I mean, she would never be down for this anyway to begin with. She's like already got a noble heart. I can't see us agreeing to this. As cool as it would be as a mission, just character-wise, I think all four of us here, if we put our heads together, would be like, there has to be another way. We can't finish this journey with killing hundreds of people and risking the lives of anyone that's nearby. Um, I'll find another way. There is no other way. Wow, they disapproved? I second chances. When you come crawling back here, and you will, we can talk. That's crazy. Well, at least it's not a big decision that's the end. Like, he's still open to it. So if I go and contact the Gondians, I can see and maybe decide for myself when I meet them. I can't believe Astarian and Shadowheart disagreed. But there's no keyhole. Must be a switch or something nearby. Oh, okay. Let's see. It's this lever, then. Always ready. In the Rivington General. Okay, I think I've been in here before and seen that. Yep. Okay. Please, keep bothering me. I've no work to get on with. Mm -mm. Why are you harboring gnomes in your cellar? No, I'm not gonna try and cause any trouble. Okay, check the old mappy poos. Let's have a look. In the circus, we know what that is. Finding the hands that we don't have yet. Missing pigeons. I mean, if it happens, it happens. I'm not too fussed about that one. So it looks like everything else is now up in the north part of the city, right? We still have that murder case going on. We have the Duke. We have some Gortash time. Like, where is the lower city? I was meant to meet someone at, like, the Elf Arms or something, but I'm not seeing that on here. So maybe it's up here. Speak with Raphael. I still have that. Why do I have that? I thought we did that. Okay, so Gortash, the ceremony. Maybe, maybe we do that. Maybe we go up to the ceremony and we kind of push things forward there and then see what happens. Why is it telling me to speak to Raphael? We return to Raphael to hear more. He has an Orphic hammer that can break Orpheus's chains. He'll give it to us if we sign a deal to give him the crown of Carsus. Ah, uh, so it's just there if I want to sign that deal with him, which we won't be doing. But I do want to get that hammer. Orphic hammer is in Raphael's possession, tracking down his abode in the Hells, the House of Hope. How the hell do I get there? I've got a long road ahead. Yes, we do. I'm going to assume that the next step is Gortash. And we'll go there. Since I've done a couple of laps of this place. Explored and spoken to everyone that I could, which I've really enjoyed. I love this feeling of like a um, lived in place with interesting things to check out. It reminds me of my first time playing Fallout 2 which are great games if you if you like this kind of top-down RPG vibe. And when you get to, um, I think it's, is it New Reno? I think it's called. In the second game. It's been a while since I played it, but it's one of my favorites. And just everywhere you go into is all these different quests and stuff, and 
in here you can become a a, a boxer. In here is a uh, corn studio. <laughs> like there's just all kinds of craziness going on in that game. When you get to New Reno, I was like, wow, okay, this game is amazing. Even though I played Fallout 1, but Fallout 1 was a lot, like, smaller scale. Like, junk town and stuff. Great games, though. What's this? Is this the one we've... Oh, it's the Taylors. Carms, Garms. Right, I have an invitation, thank you. Please make your way to the Step aside. Still breathing, despite everything. Very important. Okay. Which is into the audience hall is there. Confront Gortash is here. I think the audience chamber's on the right, though. I'm gonna guess that we can't see him beforehand. Oh, nothing here. Okay, he must be upstairs. At least things have stayed interesting. Yes, bloody hell. Please mind the gap. Please mind the gap for anyone that's ever been to London. Oh. Oh yeah, we've got your sort of side quest gone too. Is this the audience hall? Okay. Well. Okay. Do we just... Are you all waiting for us? It's quite the welcome. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Kinspeople, Baldorians, friends. Thank you for joining me on this exceptional day. It's him. Gortash. This is it. I can practically taste his blood from here. The tiefling is letting her passions get the better of her. The situation is delicate. Do not be swept up in her emotions. <clears throat> Ooh, careful, we can't risk a confrontation here. If you attack him now, you'll do it alone. Let's get him, lead the charge. Look, we can't risk it here. An 18? Oh, baby. Might get there. So we bide our time, but make no mistake, that monkey is mine. A moment, please, my friends. An old acquaintance has come to pay their respects. My respects? You're lucky I've agreed not to shove my boot up your... My favorite assassin. I'm so glad you've returned to my side. Hang on, what? You know each other. We have important matters to address. My reunion with Karlak can wait. So he, that's my past. You know me, huh? Don't talk to me, talk to her. Uh, well, I mean, look, you know me. Oh, I've forgotten. Your memories are quite lost, aren't they? Orin told me she'd made a fool of you. To think you and Karlak traveled together all this time and she hadn't the faintest you were one of my nearest and dearest. Let me clear up some mysteries then. Okay. It's about time, I think. Season finale vibes. You and I initiated this plot. We discussed in depth the failures of our predecessors and how to avoid them. We understood that if we were to unite, no one could stand in the way of the Dead Three. So, unite we did. First, we obtained the crown. Then we enslaved the brain. From there, 
it was but a small step to the most successful religious hoax ever perpetrated. What? What was my role in this? In Baal's name, you set your bloody daggers to cause panic in the streets. Killing in the Absolute's name. You would have carried out that part of the plan had Orin not ruined your hard work. Next, the threat of the Absolute's monstrous armies formed by Merkel's general, Catherick Thor. In such circumstances, people crave strong leaders. Leaders that bring law, order, and protection. Leaders like me, Bane's unyielding hand, author of justice. You are soon to witness the people of Baldur's Gate granting me complete power over them, all out of fear of the Absolute. The faithful will do anything in the name of their god. It was all going so well, until you vanished. Orin informed us that henceforth she would speak for the Temple of Baal, and act on their behalf. But she... she made a mess of things. Unlike you, she cannot control herself. Hang on. What the fuck is going on here? Interesting. Oh, how dare Orin take my place? I mean, I am a little, I'm a little annoyed. I'm a little annoyed that it happened. But I don't remember a thing, but the plan sounds brilliant. I'm back now. A reckoning awaits. You're mistaken if you think I can control myself. I've come to end this evil plot. I mean, I certainly have, but I would, I'm behind at least part of this. Have you gone soft? I find that hard to believe. One's true nature always rises to the top. When Kethrick fell, I feared the worst. That our plans would fail like so many before because of discord among ourselves. Uh, now you've returned, we can achieve all of our dreams still. You brought Thorm's Netherstone. You know, it takes all three to control the brain. Without Thorms, it's become vexingly willful. The quakes are a clear warning. If nobody steps in soon, it'll free itself from the authority of the crown. I expect it'll start with turning the Sword Coast's infected. You among them. A prism of yours won't last indefinitely. Next, the grand design. The Mind Flayer Empire reborn. If we're lucky, we'll become slaves. If we're unlucky, well... A bleak prospect but it's a fate that can be avoided if you and I renew our old partnership together we can still restore authority over the brain hmm why is the crown failing it's not but it will not follow new orders unless the netherstones are united to give the command when it finishes executing its current orders, it will be free to do as it wishes. That will be bad for everyone. The crown's magic turned the brain into something the world has never seen. A nether brain. Its power is immense. Once it is freed from its shackles, I doubt we'll ever be able to bring it under control again. Right. I am a changed person, though. I am not siding with you ever again. What kind of partnership do you have in mind? No, I'm a changed person. Baal isn't done with you, you must know that. You have effortless talents. Killing instinctually, like you breathe blood. Stand with Baal, or it will spell your doom. But I can offer some aid for the storm you're about to weather. You should hear him out. With Ketherick gone, Orin proves treacherous. She wants the Netherstones for herself. She only cares for blood. And your blood and mine are of particular interest to her. Okay, well we could take her out first and then come back. What are you getting at? Orin changes shape faster than you and I change clothes. You know, she's tricked you before. She's targeted me as well. I'm well protected, but she's extremely good at what she does. If Orin obtains all three netherstones, she'll plunge the coast into chaos and paint the city in blood. I can't let that happen. I want to lead this city to glory, not scorch its earth. <clears throat> so 
So I turn to you, the former ruler of the Cult of Baal. Hmm. Oh, showing proper respect. Good. Let's make our pact anew. A divine oath, sworn upon spirit and flesh. I do no harm to you, nor you to me. Furthermore, you'll have nothing to fear from my steel watch Ooh. while our pact stands. Okay. Thorm's stone is yours to keep. When you slay Orin and take her stone, you bring it here. So the three are united once again. But who would hold her Together, stone? Together we rule Faerun as kings. No, more than kings. Gods. We rule as the absolute. Ah. Urge, the deplorably brutal urge sickens within you. When you level the world over, that dead world must be yours alone. But first you will rule, then you will ruin. What do you say? Oh Shall my God, we be that would allies? be such a fun playthrough to just be full of I can detect no deceit. This alliance could serve us well. And if it does not, well. We need not honor it. Hmm. Let's be allies, said the viper to the frog. I thought it was a frog and a scorpion. Um, okay, so sort of what we're getting there is... Um, yeah, agree to this for now and go and do your Orin stuff and then come back and if you want to you can throw the alliance away, right? So what are our options? Orin betrayed me, you did nothing to help me. What's changed? I seem to have trusted you once and it ruined me. I'm not about to repeat that mistake. I'll think about it. To the hells with your pact. Let's examine him. See if we get any more. I'm not opposed to us just agreeing to it and then betraying him. Gortash's eyes blink in a consistent rhythm. He stands calmly, confidently. He fully intends to share his kingdom with you. Hmm. How interesting. But what has changed? We would not meddle in each other's affairs. This was our agreement. She came to us as Baal's chosen. We are but servants to our lords. Your presence here means your lord sees a purpose for you yet. I tolerated Orin. But I liked you. Thanks. Um, uh, I don't want to give my oath. Why does it have to be, we shall be allies, you have my oath? I don't want to break an oath. Can I just say I'll think about it? Perhaps a demonstration of why you need my help will motivate you to make the right decision. Your camp is compromised. What? One among you is an imposter. A faceless... Who is it? Who, I can't say. What? I'd suggest a thorough investigation. My camp? You'll find I speak the truth. The child? A doppelganger in our camp. It'd have to be the child. It can't be anyone else. That sounds all too believable. The faceless in your camp is like a knife at your throat. Remove it quickly. Or any alliance between us would be exceedingly short-lived. My hand is literally to my chest right now, aghast, shocked, jaw dropped. Well, I must go. Before you do, come and witness, as I make history as the first Archduke of Baldur's Gate. Imagine if they took over, like, one of your companions. Oh my god, that would be crazy if we, like, investigate and then, like, Gale is a doppelganger and you find Gale's dead body or something. That would be nuts. I think it's got to be the kid and the cat, though. Must be. Who else could it be? Um... Right, sure, carry on. Then we proceed. The patriarchs await. Distinguished dukes, patriarchs, dearest Raven Guard, I will heed your call. A new chapter begins. <clears throat> Enver Gortash. Swear is now by Baldurin's blade to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies within and without. I swear. Mm -hmm. 
Swearest thou true faith and fealty to the same, by word, deed, and decree, so that none may suffer? I swear. Gather guests. Grant ye consent. Say nothing. Enver Gortash, the council appoints you Archduke of Baldur's Gate. My friends, the Steel Watch stands ready. Let its blade fall on any who would diminish our city. And you, honored guest, will find me in my office above when you return. Do not come empty-handed. Tell me what to do. Punk. So there you have it. Lord Enver Gortash, in all his glory. What did you make of him? <sighs> well... Like an absolute fraud in a very nice coat. Yeah. Fucker always had expensive taste. I don't know how anyone in this hall could fall for this charade. Isn't it obvious what a chancer he is? And people are scared they'll do whatever it takes to feel safe. And they expect these big metal monsters to tuck them in at night while the absolute knocks on the gates. If only they knew the truth. The Dead Three orchestrated all of this. And it's working. I wish this city, the people running it, were smarter than me. Gortash isn't their salvation. He's the monster at the gate. Okay, who are you? Finally, a leader with some charisma. Ravenguard was quite the dullard. Right, very good, but you're not part of this. Could, could you and Rincewind go off somewhere else, please? Thank you. Stepping between us whilst we're having a private conversation. Unbelievable. Right, anything in this room? The ceremony, confront Lord Gortash. Ah, Mazoria. What about you? I guess. Ah, back to the, let's go back to the camp, find out who this doppelganger is, and then we'll bring Will back and talk to our devil woman right there. Let's go back to camp. Well, more plot. It thickens. It curdles. Well, it's got to be you, but I'm wondering if I talk to other people, if I can be like, are you a doppelganger? Oi, son, are you a doppelganger? Let's see if Will can say anything about what just happened. Unthinkable. To see my own father named Gortash, the sole ruler of Baldur's Gate. Mm. Please, we need to speak with him. Maybe. Maybe he can see reason. Yeah, I will take you Mind with me. Mind flayers are like devils. They just sport tentacles rather than wings. Clever, manipulative, exploitative. The Emperor says he's a friend. I think we'd be fools to believe him. Maybe it's true. Maybe Stelmane allied with a Mind Flayer and subjected the city to their political will. Or maybe he made an offer she couldn't refuse. I feel... Who will I swap, though, is the thing. I feel like maybe Astarian. I mean, Shadowheart is so essential to me combat-wise. Karlak gets the whole Gortash thing. Maybe Astarian has the least kind of story in there. I, oh, what's up, Scratch? I swear, if it's the dog, I'll cry. What's up for discussion? The dog is unable to speak through the small bag he holds in his mouth. I don't know. All I know is I thought okay, of you when I saw it. Okay, just a thing. Pets, pets, pets. It's a good boy. He's like, I heard you called another dog a good boy earlier. Cheating on me, are we? Oh, sorry. Huh. It was nothing, really. Maybe it's one of you two. Surely not. Keeping very well, I hope. Uh, what 
we do now? Look after my angel, of course. She's been through more than I can bear to think about. A hundred years in the Shadowfell. A hundred years being murdered by Sharans over and over. It fills me with a rage I can hardly contain. She's a formidable woman, my Aelin. But no one could escape such <clears throat> horrors unscathed. She's in my hands now, and I intend to help her through whatever's to come. We'll both of us stand by you when the time comes to put down the horror that threatens this city. We are your allies for life. Okay. I mean, it's got to be the kid then. Couldn't be anybody else. Is it the cat? I brought my own paring knife. Now I just need some ingredients, and I'm gonna make something really good, I promise. But please, don't look at me. Hmm. Well, how do I investigate this? Here, Talking about, do I have to just do a long rest or something? There's a bloody thing here. Like, what? Why can't I... Why don't I have a... Thing? Maybe we sleep. shall cleave the truth from you like flesh from a doer. Help me! That she's gone mad! Oh, another normal evening in camp, I see. Stay out of this. She is mine to purge. I saw her. She slipped into camp in the form of a woman and shifted into this abomination. She tried to silence me and hide her deception. I didn't do anything! Right, so Gortash spoke the truth. Gortash warned you of this. Then there is nothing left to discuss. Oh! Say your farewells, Nevukrim. Hold, 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 hold. I'm not. I don't care if she's horrid or not. Kill her. Good lord. Look. Hold on. Oh my god. That is heavy persuasion. It could be the cat. I mean, she's saying she saw her, which is like, okay, if you saw her come in and literally change, like, I trust you, Lazel. But we have to be sure before we do this. It's a child. Oh my dick. Oh, oh dear. I'll give you one roll. I'll give you one roll. Okay. Okay. Perhaps if I remove your eyes, you'll see things as they are. Me? Oh! <gasps> ah! Oh. Look at it. Father's favorite. All lost and wandering. Have you forgotten the way home? <laughs> Should I set your lap dog to screaming? That could help you find the way. I, w I didn't even think that that, that Lazel could have been the doppelganger. That was great. That was so good. Literally, my hands went to my head. I was like, oh my gosh. Where is Lazel? Nothing. No, not a thing. <laughs> Still gasping and gagging on the foul they did airs take a of companion. Baal's temple. <laughs> I will save her for you. We can peel her corpse together. Ooh. Once the Bainite is dead, Gortash betrays us, bloodkin. He sets a leash to our slaughter. He uses us to drive the herd towards his tin men's oppression. 
You must kill the tyrant, smear him across his rock-rotten halls, and pluck the netherstone from his carcass. Then we jewel a sweet slaughter kin. The winner claims the stones. Ball's true chosen. The loser rots on his altar. Agree, and I will bring my assassins to heal. They watch you always, longing to spray the crimson from your veins. Refuse me, and you'll learn what happens to those who defy Baal's doctrine. So will your friend. So, this was Orin's intention. A combat against a fellow scion of Baal, witnessed by the Lord of Murder himself. Accept, and you must kill Gortash. Refuse, and your companion's life may be forfeit as might your own. Orin's assassins will hunt you like prey for slaughter. God, we're really getting some big decisions in this one. It's like two sort of possible endings seem to be presenting themselves in terms of siding with either one of the dead three. Which we won't be doing either way. At least that's the plan. I... Right. I mean, we've got to protect Lazel. That has to be priority one. Uh, fine. A duel it is. The promise of slaughter, of pain and humiliation, and the sound of blood drip dropping into the gutter. But first, first, you must make Gutspill of the Tyrant. Do not underestimate his steel watch. Seek their cradle in the lower city and skewer their skull meat. Make them rust and blood. Then you can gore the Lordling again and again and again. But listen, listen close, Bone. Killer. Come to my temple before you turn Gortash to Carrion, and I will ready your friend's corpse to greet you. <laughs> Baal is waiting, Slaughterkin. Do not disappoint him. You know when I say I like him crazy? There's a line. We found the line. So... <laughs> um, right, right, okay. That's a, di that's a dilemma now. Because... If I go to that temple beforehand, Lazel is in trouble. If... So, I mean, it's, it's seeming... Like, we're going to have to take out the Steel Watch, then Gortash, then go for Orin. Might be the only way to save Lazel. And the route that we need to take. Because if we go to Orin first, we might lose Lazel. We then have to face Gortash and the Steel Watch. And I don't see, an, I don't see a reason to keep Gortash till last. So that's probably the order we're going to attack it in. Because also, that makes sense. If we do Gortash and then go to Orin, like, she wants to fight anyway. So we will still... We will still duel. Hmm. Okay. Why am I encumbered now? What did she just, like, give me that's encumbering me? Like, what? Organized by weight. Carrying a bloody clown's severed torso around for a start. I need to finish that. This scarlet armor, let's just send that to camp. Uh, thieves' tools. Should give those to a starion, really. Let me put these outfits away. There's a dead rat in my pocket for some reason. Ding, 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 
carry my loot around. I guess I could get rid of the disguise kits. Some old boots are in my pockets, carrying sandals around there like my crocs. Lots of books, should put them away, should put them down. Bum, bum, bum. Why does this weigh 75? Oh my good lord. Ah, it's Lazel's stuff. Her armor and her the stuff that she was carrying. Ah, wah, wah. Okay. Hi, child. Sorry about that. Aren't you glad I didn't kill you? What happened? You're safe now. No, I'm not. I'm not ever safe ever again. You know what's when we were talking to them before. Her eyes were a different colour, one each, because I was I was gonna say, like, oh you've got a heterochromia like me, but now I'll kill her. Now they're I'll kill her! She can't grab me again! Never ever! But now her eyes are not. So was the one I was talking the I don't understand. Your eyes have changed colour. I'll kill her. Like those are definitely the I'll same colour, and in the previous cutscene talking to one was like pink hmm please don't look at me me every time I leave the house me in supermarket buying dinner oh please don't look at me oh god I so desperately need a haircut right now drive me crazy it's also at the point where I feel like it's too long to not feel ridiculous going into the hairdressers, you know? So annoying. So thick and curly. Right. Okay, I guess let's drop a starion out as much as I'm You almost piss your to in do. taking Lazel like that. Give her half a chance and she'll rip out the shapeshifter's spine. Oh. My favorite and we'll, um, companion. Stay here for a minute. Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had. I. It sounds. And we'll bring Will with us. Damn it all! We've got to get Lazel back. If that means killing Gortash, nothing would give me greater pleasure. For it is your father. Well met. That's the spit. Join me, friend. I must do your levels. Come the morning. I don't know what you even have as a weapon. But we shall sort that before we leave camp. And we'll go see your demon. You're listening to Down to Sleep. Okay, I'm back after taking a break, leveling up Will, and let's get back into the world. Made some lunch. What's your gripe with Saluna anyway, Shadowheart? Ah, they're harmless. She betrayed her sister. You're a criminal. You're ruined the balance of things. Imagine turning on those who love you for your own glory. They're having a conversation about Saluna, but she already um, joined. She is a Selenite now, isn't she? Right, time to introduce you to, uh, well, reintroduce your old friends here. Let's have a word. I realised. On the loading screens and stuff, this character being behind Will is really prominent. Like, more so than has appeared so far. So I'm, like, wondering if you play as Will, if she's more important, or she's, like, really in, in the artwork, almost as a huge part of the companions, so... What did I tell you? A momentous occasion. I'm sure you agree. I've had enough, Mizora. What do you want? For your attention. 
little pup. Nothing more. And you'll be glad to give it. You see, Gortash has had your father relocated. Her eyes are crazy. Um, what are you playing at, devil? Rude. I'm just an impartial observer. This is Gortash's game. A murderous one, the way I hear it. Shit. Your dad's good as dead, pup. And to think there's no way to save him. Or is there? You know something. I know enough. I'll be in your camp if you want to work something out. Oh. We just came from camp, but let's see what Will has to say. Why is she so hot? Of course she'd stick her infernal nose where it doesn't belong. Of course she's dreamt up some risible scheme. By all the hounds of the hells, what is she planning? Oh, I bet she's going to offer him a new deal to save his dad. Because she wants to, like, keep him. Look, she's your patron, not mine. You don't have a clue. I don't want to be rude. Look, she's up to nothing good. Certainly not. But she's as inevitable as Toril's path around the sun. We'll have answers soon enough. Mazora's gone to camp. We should speak with her. Until then, may my father keep safe. Whatever coop he's been flown to. Mm-hmm. Let's go back to camp then. And see what the sexy devil wants. It's all happening. Where is she? Why isn't she with you? Miss Aura. Miserable Mizora. Oh, misery. I wonder if it means misery in something. There the Halson sitting down. It never happened, Halson. Just wanted to remind you that's not canon. It never happened. Now, where is she? Where the devil is that devil? Well met. Is she here? Nope. I'll be at your camp, she says. And then proceeds to... not be. Am I blind? Have you spotted her yet? Do I have to sleep again? I'll be at your camp. Right. I mean... Right, do we long rest again? Does she only come out at night? Apparently. Introduce me to your friends. Fina, Cirrus, arbiters for the Hells, exemplars of justice. Enough, Mizora. Where is my father? How do I save him? How else mm. we bargain, sisters? Infernos contractus te vocamus. 
Infernos contractus te vulcamus. The hells suddenly Infernos aren't seeming so bad. I just te vulcamus. might be a place to visit. You know? Your contract will. Signed in blood, forged in fire, bound in bone, but not unbreakable. I'm going to remain silent and let Will take the lead on this. As we always do, we let the, our companions speak for themselves and show autonomy and... Yet no contract is ended without sacrifice, Will. The cost must be paid. Will Ravenguard. This scene A is choice. awesome is before you. Option one, I show you the way to your father. I guarantee him no harm except that from you and your allies. And you pledge your soul to me and the Archdevil Zariel in a pact eternal. Option two, I break your pact oh. and you are freed from your duty. Your father dies by his enemy's hand and Baldur's Gate loses its greatest champion. Name your sacrifice. Well, that's an evil choice. Bloody Zariel. I won't let her take Will. Silence, Karlak. Mizora, you asshole. Choose. That's so Like, why does he have to choose one? She's literally saying, I'll kill your dad if you don't... Like, that's not fair. Break the pact, do the right thing, let your father die. Serve your father. What will happen to his powers if he breaks the pact? Addendum F. The Absolute must be avenged for the Soulbinder's detention at Moonrise. The Soulbearer retains his gifts until such time as the Absolute is slain. They're like, you can keep his powers till the end of the game. So wait, my only option is to say, save your father, the city needs him. Do the right thing. Give your soul so your father can live. Break the pact. You deserve your freedom. Let your father die when the city's free. Take his place. There's got to be another way. There has to be. I mean, you know, if you have a good relationship with a family member, I'm sure we would all sign whatever pact and give ourselves to whatever we had to, but I also feel... I feel like his father would not want him to give his soul for his life. If his father is a hero, he would want to give himself for his son, just as he would give himself for the city. You know, he... No father would want their child to suffer for them. No parent, no guardian, I should say, but... I don't know if, like, it feels so not my place to say do the right thing or break the pact. You just, you know? Can we get there before? Like, what's she gonna do? It feels like it would make more sense for him to break the pact and we take revenge on Mazora. Or signing it, saving it, and then trying to, like, saving the dad, and then trying to break it at a later time. Oh, it's tough. I... I'm gonna... I mean, Will can speak for himself. I, my character will say this, and we'll see what he says. I'll say break the pact. I think he should end this deal. I think. It's it's a very one of the toughest choices we've had so far, honestly. But break the pact, Will. You damned wretch, Father. Shadowheart disapproves. Do it. Break the pact. Fiat ita. Fiat ita. Anima ad beator. you had it in you. Seems my boy's all grown up. 
And don't go fussing about your father. You made your choice. You knew the terms. You know what? I think I'll stick around. Not for the greater good, you understand. Just for the entertainment. Now you're going to be chilling in camp? I mean, welcome. Hey, how's it going? Gosh, you're a bit taller than me, aren't you? So do those wings come forward? Can you, like, wrap them around me like some sort of scaly cuddle? Ugh. Um. Oh, man. I hope that was the right thing. I mean, there is no right or wrong right, but... What did that do for his thing? Oh, dear, dear, dear. We left our remaining concerns regarding <gasps> Duke Ravenguard behind us. Mizora asked us to meet her in camp. She has an important proposal. So that's like the end of the Grand Duke Blade of Frontiers quest. I don't know how I feel about that. Let's see what Will says. God, I spent seven years choked by Mizora's leash. And I spent seven years hoping to break free. I never knew freedom could taste so bittersweet. It's my favorite flavor. You're your own man, Will. It's better this way. I have to believe that. I'm not the Hell's puppet in life, nor its warrior in death. The blade will be guiding his own hand. But freedom will be paid in my father's blood. Tomorrow, I celebrate my gain. Today, I mourn my loss. A moment passes. In the stillness, you find a mote of tranquility. The Raven God name now lives solely with me. I will make it count for something. Maybe there's a way to save him. I signed his life away before the Hell's Witnesses. It would be easier to drink the sticks down to the last drop than to alter his fate. I'd be a fool to wish otherwise. What's the next step then? We obtain the final two nether stones and take back our minds. And the city. From the brain. Alright. Let's see what you have to say for yourself, you Little devil. Little Will's all grown up. I can't wait to see what trouble he gets into. Have you got a contract for me? Oh, sorry, Will. Didn't see you there. Um, well, you forced Will to make an impossible choice. Impossible? My bargain was uncommonly reasonable. A single soul for the return of Baldur's Gate's most beloved duke. A real bargain, I should think. I never thought the legendary Blade of Frontiers would surrender his father for freedom. Not very valorous, if you ask me. But very valorous, what actually. what does a mean old devil like me know about heroes? I thought we had already sort of dealt with this, that this contract was going to be finished anyway, and we were going to find a way out of it. She just comes, comes up and makes new rules and a new thing. You left Karlak alone, didn't you want her dead? What's changed? Oh, you are an inquisitive one. I'd have thought you'd figured by now. Zariel found a new use for an old battle axe. The dead three in that bulging brain of theirs are a threat to more than this trifling city, you mm. know. Savor her company. Who's to say when Zariel might change her mind? My mistress can be so capricious. Does the word capricious come from Capricorn? Um, let me see. Let's do a little learning with morph segment. Capricious word to sudden unpredictable change. And what's the etymology of it? Um, the noun caprice. From the French and the Italian capriccio. Okay, capricious Capricorn. 
Capricorn looks and sounds a lot like capricious, a great, a capricious, a great word meaning characterized by sudden change or erratic behavior. The two words are not related etymologically speaking. Capricious may actually derive from the Latin for hedgehog. Ah, well, there we go. That was learning with morph. Well, look, if Will isn't your warlock, why stick around and give him powers? The absolutists worked a number on me at Moonrise. And you're the best hope I've got at payback. Okay. No one crosses the Hell's children without getting scorched. Ba 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 ba. What can you tell me about the Hells? And, you know, can you draw me a map on how to get there? The nine Hells of Beator. Each its own domain, each with its own archdevil to rule it. I call the first Hell my home, Avernus. My mistress Zariel's realm, a torrid battleground split by the bloody waters of the Styx. How I adore it. The delicious agony of it all. Mm -hmm. The other eight, well, they are pleasures unto themselves. Perhaps I'll show you myself, if I deem you worthy. Well, isn't that where Raphael's House of Hope is, or whatever it's called, that I need to go to? How did they capture you? Correct. I didn't. If you must know, I was scouting the cultists on behalf of Zariel, but those cursed shadows were thick enough to fell even a half-fiend. I woke in that damned pod and kept my body sealed and my most powerful magic silenced. But a brave, kind, benevolent soul set me free. Gallantry isn't dead after all. You're welcome. If you're going to be staying, I need something from you. Why? I'm supplying Will with every scrap of his infernal power. I've paid my dues many times over. I tell you what, when the time comes to squish that big baddie of a brain, I'll lend you a hand. A new ally, okay. <sighs> Don't worry, Will, I'll try and find a way to save your dad still. Hey, babe. Will sacrificed his own father. I hope freedom from the pact is worth it to him. Yes, very sad. How are you doing today? Of course. Do we... can I... would you like to... I suppose you've earned it. Thank you. I mean... Mm -hmm. I said it whilst our lips were together, my immersion. Can I have another kiss? I suppose you've earned it. I thought kissing got an update. Oh. Oh, I, hello, I, sure? Wow. Well, well. I guess it did. New kiss animations. I mean, hello? There we go. How many are there? Well, don't stand and serenade. <laughs> Can here. we have another one, please? When it comes to kissing Shadowheart, I'm all of a twist up in this. Please, sir, can I have some more? That was a cute one. Anyway, one for the road? Well, don't stand in ceremony. Come here. This is so much better than just that, that first kiss that we did on this instance is the way that it was every single time. Just that sort of awkward back of the head kiss. Get some right old smooches in now. Very nice. Very nice. Right. Um, it, well, I... I guess it may be time to leave Will here to hang out with his. She just a devil woman, and then we'll take a Starion back out. Well, 
and let, and if I find some more on your dad, are you sure? I will the blade be sure the to ring. bring you with, okay? And Stay here for now, but I promise I'm not giving up on him. Just what I need. We'll give up his father to have freedom. Hmm. An understandable decision. Sacrifices must be made after all. Especially if the old Duke's fall means his rise. I love this outfit we've put him in. Right, come on. Darling, I thought you'd never ask. Lead on. Good boy. What's hiding here? Let's go to bed. Karlak, what do you have to say about all this? I can't believe Will's given up his soul to Zariel. For a father he fell out with ages ago. There's such a thing as being too good. He didn't, though. Someone ought to tell Will Ravenguard. What? Were you listening? Like, what? Bugged, I guess. Right, I had another sleep. Another sleep. We don't actually need, we just rested, so we don't need to spend any stuff. Right, onward. To explore this city. Do what must be done. Right, so what's on the map? The ceremony, confront Lord Gortash. Speak with Raphael. Um, so we have certainly... There's like so much more map to explore. I'm curious. How do we get like Shadow Hearts thing going? Dun dun dun. Karlak's heart was upgraded again, but Damon bore bad news. Her heart can't keep going outside of the hell. She'll die if she doesn't return. So that's complete. There isn't any more for that. Convince Shadowheart to turn her back on Shah's wishes. Instead, free the Night Song. Rather than become a Dark Justicia, she'll likely face dire consequences. And that's complete? I thought we were going to go and save her parents. Don't tell me that's like a DLC or something. Okay, retrieve the Orphic Hammer from the House of Hope. <sighs> He'll be waiting for us in the sewers. Inform him when the deed is done. Okay, infiltrate Raphael's House of Hope. How do we get there? Right. The lower... Where is the lower city? That's what we need. And also a Starian's thing. We need to face Cazador. And the bookseller at Sorceress Sundries. We haven't found this bookshop yet. Sorceress... Like, I feel like there's another part of the town we haven't explored yet. Because Sorceress Sundries is not on here anywhere. So where else might be another direction? Could be some stuff over here? Perhaps? Like... Or... Is it up this way? What's behind us? Maybe this is Lower City. Lower Town, or whatever it's called. I swear, if I find... Ah, to Lower City! Yes! Wonderful! <laughs> Watch me find Sorceress Sundry straight away and have to go back to camp and get Bloody Gale. Just a carousel of companions right here. Oh, it's so cold here again. Cold for March. Got a cup of tea and a hot water bottle. And a candle on. This candle is, um, maple pecan. Or as Americans say, pecan. And it smells delicious, and it makes me very hungry. Mm-hmm. As we... Pass the time together between loading screens. What are you up to? Really? It sounds great. And what did you eat today? Ah, oh, it's my favourite. 
Come on, game. Bloody hell. The lower city. The lower city. So what's in the immediate area? Chickens. A hanging. What's up here? The Basilisk Gate Barracks. And who might you be? Something's on my mind. About time. The Manif assured me a builder would come around a ten day ago and hold it. You're not the builder. Which means I've got no use for you. Why do you need a carpenter so badly? Hooligans at the Mermaid have been using my shutters for target practice. And that's not the half of it. I've had to replace the same window three times now, not to mention the mess they've made of my front door. Now either you learn to fix my broken shutters, or you wag your tongue elsewhere. Right. You sent word about a lead, said that I should come see you about it. Of course, madam. Let me just... <sighs> Forgive me, why are you here? Is this some kind of sick joke? Do you have any idea what I've been through these past few days? <laughs> what is occurring? My daughter, Vanra. My little girl. She's missing. Is that the one that's in our camp? Stupid, useless fist. Said she had a lead, but she must have been stuck in dream mist or something. Madam, tell me. You said she was taken from a tavern? You catch the barest tendrils of magic coiled around the flaming fist. Yes, the blushing mermaid down by the docks i told you a hundred times why aren't you listening okay examine what's occurring here hmm. come on bingo baby someone or something has tampered with her memory what um what were we discussing? She's been men in black flashed. I feel like I'm going mad! Listen, someone's tampered with her memory. Nonsense, I'm fine. Madam, tell me why you're... ...here, and I will assist. God, you're right. Something's wrong with her. Can you help me? I've no family, and Vanra's father isn't around. It's a flaming fist in my last resort. I'm so afraid. I'm so tired. I've been looking night and day everywhere I could. All right, calm down. You will? Thank you. I haven't slept to read since she disappeared. I'm terrified something has happened to her. Her name is Vanra. She's seven years old and has red hair, like me. We were in the Blushing Mermaid when she was taken. Just up by the docks. Right, well, was anyone else with you? No, unless you count a couple of old drinking mates at the next table. But there'd be no help. They barely remember their own names. I was sober, though. I swear. I stop in the maid for a drink sometimes. But it was only a quick one. Uh-huh. Well, I'll go there then. Thank you. I'll head home. Can't stump being around these idiots any longer. Bye. Oh, just a quick one. Sure, sure. Let's see what we have to say. What now? She claimed she would look into it. I'll believe you. For now. Hello. Nothing. Don't hold back. What's occurring? 
Embrace yourself. Fight Club. <laughs> Strange beggar lumber. That felt great. With the stench of death. He's an undead. You're very welcome, sir. Come to have a go. Give it your best shot. Ooh, his tum tum. An air of decay hangs over the stooped beggar's form. The smell of rot. The smell of death. Gold first. Then you can hit me. Um. Well, usually people pay me not to hit them. Tried that once. They took the gold and hit me anyway. Better this way. I still leave with gold in my pockets. So, you having a go or not? Not. Then move. I wonder if there's something you can get by being strong enough to like actually knock him out or something. Okay, that's the barracks. That's another door. What's down here? Got a mailbox. Let's have a look. With some letters in. Okay, let's meet, it says. A hastily scrawled note. I've got information. You are right. The temple membership is growing. I'll tell you about their so-called tribunal. Meet me tomorrow. You know where. I found you. Written in blood. You didn't come. Don't you realize I'm risking my neck for you? I can't have this information sitting on me. They'll find me. I'll give you one last chance. Meet me tonight. The Department of Drains and Underways is aware of the issue of the penetrating stench emanating from the round street hatches that provide access to city sewers. Tribe of Gutter Cobbles contracted to maintain free flow appears to have been slain or driven away, resulting backups responsible for the unpleasant odor. Are we... is some... Is this maybe someone that was on the list and they might be dead in here? And that's like what's happening? How delicious. Because there was that list, wasn't there? Of people that we were gonna try and warn. Oh. Just man, we've had some good luck rolls today, honestly. Looking ahead. I feel like this is gonna Yep. Oh, I knew it. Someone was Shut arranging the door. these corpses. What for? Damn. Guessing talk with the dead. A fake bal fake Balthazar's head. Why is it fake? Guessing speak with dead may not work here. The corpse does not respond. Doesn't have a head. Clown's pelvic gross. Oh, I wonder if that was the last part. The, clown. the effigy of Balthazar who lacked ambition. What use his refusal? He thought himself free, but destiny claimed his corpse the same. An exaggerated signature written in blood, or in the red. Okay. Is there anything else in here? I don't want a pile of towels. <laughs> Shionic detector. I don't see anything else in here. Or anything to look at. I guess we just wanted to find a part of dribbles. Come on, gang. Let's go. Was that the last part, I wonder? Bum bum bum. Jump just says we found his pelvis. Disgusting. I got another one. The elf song. I think I was meant to meet someone in here. It is I. I think the detective is in here somewhere. Best if I keep a low profile. They used to know me all too well with the song. Let's say. 
I wonder if our paths ever crossed in the before times. Were you always so sneaky? <laughs> I haven't survived for two centuries by being reckless, and I hope to survive at least two more. Hello, old friend. Or oh, so I assume. I, I used to know everybody around town. Now I'm a new man. A new man? Who are you when you are an old man? A worried man, a playwright who lost the will to write. <laughs> now I worry no more. Can't write a word? What does it matter? Alright, thanks for that. Uh, don't see anyone on their own like they're waiting for us. Everyone's so wonderfully dressed. Aye, aye. Pull up a seat. If you can find one spare, that is. Business going well? Actually, I'm looking for a place to stay. I'll tell you what. The murder upstairs has M brought some pointers, murder. but it's also really spooked folk out of renting rooms. If we get you staying up there... Perhaps folk will calm down and realise there's nothing to worry about. You can have the whole upstairs floor until this killer thing blows over. Sure. Perhaps I could get a discount, though? <laughs> Charity! In Boulder's Gate! Good one. It's a negotiation. You just said, yeah, there's a murder scene. I'm doing you a favour? Give me at least half off. Keep your voice down about the bloody murder upstairs. <clears throat> Top floor's all yours. If it gets a bit too noisy at night, well, don't sleep above a pub. <laughs> Very nice. Now we can find the Emperor's old uh, room, I suppose. Cat? A cat called Tambourine. <laughs> Let me talk with animals. I have something to ask. Hello, servant ape. <laughs> Would you kill those rats, please? Their presence vexes me. Servant ape. I can only imagine that's might be part of like what my cats say to me when they see me come in. Oh, hello, servant oak. Where's dinner? Oh, look, tambourine. A servant comes to help us. Oh, kill those rats, would you? When they're dead, the other servants will feed us. In my head, like, my cats definitely call me dad. <laughs> uh, dad. When's dinner, dad? Oh. Got a bit of an infestation down here, I see. Man, we haven't had a battle for so long. I've truly been enjoying um, all of the wonderful um, dialogue. Now, I remember with this weapon that I can throw it and it comes back to me. So I would quite like to try that. This legendary weapon, when I throw it, return to your hand when thrown. Like, I, I want to see. This will help. Good lord. I did not know that had an AoE on it. The amount of thunder damage. The, the amount of rats that just took out. Whoa, okay. And we get another go? Path interrupted. Hit, hit it here. Oh. Why didn't it? Maybe it has to hit to trigger something. Whoa! Don't know if you'll really need the frenzy, but you know, actually stay back, so we'll just say are we it. Sometimes the only way out is through. Rampa rampa. 
feel like a spike, big old spike growth would do it, wouldn't it? They literally all have like one health. Maybe that might be overkill. But no, I think AoE is going to be the way. Who's next? Maybe we could just. Do I really want to set the place on fire? That'll be alright. It's the worst that could happen. Okay, let's have you. A f level five flame strike might be overkill. I just gonna... <laughs> go ahead and drop one of those on that. Hopefully that distracts them a little bit. Ratty, ratty, rat finks. That way we won't get rabies. Brings them all together for a starion to hopefully finish. There is one over there in that corner as well. Bum, 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 bum. If you go here, I could just drop another wall of fire. Make things simple. And then, can you nibble that one? Not enough movement, so we'll just wait here. Ah, that's the only surviving rat. And it ran into the fire. There you go. Sorry, what was that, mate? You might have wanted to wait for the sound of burning rats before you spoke to me. Something about a mechanism need to find a way forward. among the cellar. A ring. Keepsake Wish ring. I had a bag of holding. Bag of holding. Cast to put my hands on everything. Oh, maybe it's one of these. Like one of them's a lever or something. Nothing seems to be showing up. On the other side, you'll find a passageway known only to those invited to do business. Passage. Here? Oh, hang on. Can you not go through here? No. Why can't I squeeze through there? Something over there. A button. I don't know why I can't get through. Aha. Uh -huh. Never a dull moment. Very few dull moments, I have to say, in 75 hours of playing. Why does this feel like the Harry Potter room? There must be gift hostiles nearby. Like the uh is it the Hufflepuff house or something? When it's like through the door like that? Oh, I should save it. Gith. Yankee. Google Dandy. Blackith has found us. Get rid of them. Quickly. We will be ready. This is your old bat cave, huh? If it doesn't come, we must find evidence of its whereabouts. Can we talk about this? What a pleasant surprise. Here you are, as brazen as described. The gloomed soul who thieved from our queen. Of course you had help, didn't you? From the elithid you carry inside the astral prism. How quaint that we should meet here, in the very place that it once called home. We know all about the Emperor and its dealings with you. Though I must confess, its peculiar relationship with you threw us off course for a while. We never touched. Most elithids prefer to dominate their thralls through transformation. Yet here you stand, untransformed. Tell me, what did it offer you in exchange for your servitude? Tentacles I could use as a helicopter? I mean, I serve none other than the wild tempest that is nature. We are merely allies. You have fallen prey to its manipulation. Your story ends here. 
We will reclaim the astral prism, purge it of the illithid interloper, and restore it to our queen. Listen, you should know the Emperor is not the only occupant. What are you doing? My dear child, I already know all there is to know. I will liberate you from your puppet master, Shamar Zala Blackith! Ba 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 ba! Well, I offered for your sake for this not to happen. But you know nose sons of Yankees just could not help yourself, could you? Now let's try the um, throwing and see what it does on a on. person. A bleeding and a bunch of different effects there. Dece decent. Um, may as well get closer. Shrading. And, I mean... Oh, wait, it's... Hang on, too heavy to throw it Should we throw it again? Great. Good stuff. I am tempted to misty step you up there and have you deal with them. We'll see you on the next. Another fight. Let's go. Um... Actually, it might be a better idea. Let's conjure... Water. Just because I haven't seen this one yet. So we've got a multi-attack, 16 to 40. Descend on a creature and buffet it with your hardy, aqueous... Aqueous... Aqueous fists. Exhale a freezing torrent winter's breath. So I can get both of them. Uh, burning targets undergo rapid cooling and become brittle. So if somebody flamed them and then I, like, froze them. Hmm. I wonder if we just step back here for a second. Let's dance indeed. I would love to see you if you can. Who has a fireball? You have wall of fire. My faith will protect me. You want a fireball, babe? You got the fire strike. I need something that's this. Can you feel death's cold grip? Immediate. Not a fire bolt. A wall of fire if you if you may. A starion. So what we want to do is, I'm going to Misty Step you up here. In many, in many. And hope that you can still cast it. Okay, good. And I'm going to fire you up. I wonder if more are going to come out of that portal, so I might just do it up that way too. Cross. And with them burning, I'll just scooch out of the way of our Aqueous friend. And you can now combine with your winter's breath. And that should. Didn't. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Creepy. Didn't actually add brittle to you. Cause you're, maybe because you're still burning and standing in the literal wall of fire. Hmm. Unfortunate. I won't give in. Into the bloody fray! Well... want to hit this one down here. Do you have anything new I haven't used yet? Divine Intervention. Oh yeah, you can only use that once. So I'm going to hoard that like anything. I just hit a good old guiding ball. To be honest, and drop up a spiritual weapon over here. We can... 
Can we get it up here? Ah. Great. Not enough space. Not enough movement. Target is out of sight. Just would love to distract these up here, honestly. If I could, but... I may have to settle for... Having you here. Sorry. Try to be a bit more decisive as we go through. I know the combat isn't for everyone. I personally love some good turn-based combat. Old school RPGs, games like XCOM as well. Lo uh, uh, of them. For the queen. But I know it ain't for everyone. Personally, like, when I've tried to play RPGs like this that don't have turn base and it's action-y, clicky combat, I can't get into it. I really don't enjoy it. I, like, I love an action an action game when it's just that, but if it's an RPG, it's got to be turn-based for me. And isometric is my favourite, like, this top-down view. Ow. Did you just try and sword water? Not the brightest crayons. Ah, more people are coming out of the portal. Right. Wow, they're both held, so it's literally all I have is Shadow Heart. That's crazy. Oh, I, th I mean, maybe we should just focus on this one, I guess. Okay, unless you can cast... I was kind of holding back, but... Might be time. Moonbeam. Or we could do the Swarm, or we could do the Flame Strike. Let me strike true. Get it. Get it, baby. Good job. And you can now cast... Move that to that side. Wonderful. Carlax incapacitated. Okay. Boo, 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 boo. Nice. Good sound effects. I'm wondering if I should send you over that way. I can elemental warp you. And start having you go towards them. I think Astarian can deal with that guy. Probably. Let's get some distractions going. You got 31 left. Let's. My squishy boy. How can I keep you in this? Let's see what their stuff is. No resistances. Okay. You have 16 armor. Maybe the shocking grasp? You've got big armor on if I just set electric to it. Nice. So stuff like that has interactions as well, like their mat metal armor will suffer more from lightning. So close. Okay. Oh my god, did it back to me. Jumping. What? These Githyanki's got the hops. I'm almost dead. Alright. You asked for it. Dun 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 dun. Do I Albear or do I. Dilophosaur, eh? 
Man, it feels like forever since we were the bear. Were you turned into the bear? That's like one of the ones you start with, right? Because Owlbear came around so quick. And I can also take the shape of my elementals. I do love the Owlbear. Didn't we try the lizard last time? I can't remember if it was any good. Oh yeah, it dissolves the target's armor class. That may actually be really useful here. Because they have quite a bit of armor. Um, spit. Spit, spit, spit. Saved from the spit, apparently. Right, babe. Let's call in your Radiant Guardians with Necrotic. And get closer. It's a little shield. And... Let's drop a heal. I've missed it too. It's been far too long since I played this. So many other things came out and I got a bit distracted for a minute. He's got seven, so we just want to do away with him here, really. Use... Something... Like a cantrip or something that would just do it without using a spell would be great here. Yeah. Don't know if I can trust... Ah, it's tough to know what's going to do the job. Honestly. Would that 3 to 24? Like, it's likely to do more than 7, right? But I've got a 42% chance on it. I could just drop my magic missiles, but I mean, he's right in front of me. I could topple. I mean, it's not like us to have done any melee. Let's just hit this. Miss. Wow. Okie dokes. That's a bummer. Well, you are... Melee, right? So if I just... Oh, sorry. It dropped my hot water bottle. So right, we'll just stay up here. It's fine. We'll get through it. Try not to overthink it. It's fine. Big freeze. Oh, there we go. No more portal. Wonderful. If you could only have the powers of one element, what would you have? It's got to be fire or water, right? Because water, you've got water and ice. Although maybe if you could fly with air then that would make air worthwhile. But otherwise, what, just blowing on people? Blowing wind? Like, that's rubbish. Probably the bottom pick, right? Mish. I keep getting saved from my spit. What should I do? Do some damage. What you got? We got some. Bum, 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 bum. Little, could just get a little backstab in there. You have, um. Sacred Flame. Divine Strike, Radiant. Okay. I kind of parried it, huh? Ah, that took my concentration from my... That was silly. Just trying to cast spells. Can you stop? Goodness. Really? Poor Karlak. Oh, 
shocking grasp of my water. Bum, 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 bum. Just give him a nibble then. The spit's not working. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, man. It's just like, you're the healer, really. I just, the spell casting's not really the one with her, but... Let's, um... Just try and hit, I guess. I ain't doing it. Right, I've had enough of you now. You keep dodging, so it's magic missile time. Tormented. One HP? Push them. <laughs> Just like, what? Sneaky. Behind you. I like that even in being held, Karlak is still just such a great tank. That they're swarming her and... Forever my MVP keeping us in the fight. Nibble, nibble. Oh, I've got a pounce too. But I, it will do a, a attack of opportunity because I'm too close to them. Damn it. I'll just do a little jump here. Talk to me. Um, we'll probably long rest after this. We're using a lot of spells. Just call up those guardians again. That's fine. Yeah. And uh, that's fine. Just move up. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. I'm just gonna move away and back in, and move away and back in, and move away and back in, and. <laughs> the dance macabre. You're still alive, buddy. Die. There you go. Thank you. I'll watch from up here. I got this. Ah, she's back. Get jabbed in the butt, dude. That's my girl. Alright. You want some? Once Carlac's free, it's game over. Sorry. You're done. You're done. Little Gith Yankee. You're done. Why can't we uh, pounce from there? Not enough movement to get my pounce on. Spat on. My turn. Take your revenge. You heard her. Let us hope she exhausts her forces soon. Right. Have a little looty poos. Now search the room. There's a statue that conceals the way through. I'll reveal it to you. Boots of psionic movement. Githborn flying boots. Level 3 transmutation spell. When a Githyanki casts fly, the next melee weapon attack deals an additional 1 to 4 damage. Send to camp. Dismiss my elemental. My summon, I should say. Ploop. Still alive, so that's progress. Have All right. To keep going. Let's have a look around. The following individuals are a threat to our operation and need to be silenced. Tharian, Irith, Calibrant, Renforth. Lord Heketh. Oh, I need to sneeze. No. Ah, oh, fight it. That's better. Harbor Master. I don't know if that means anything. 
Inroads by arms dealer Gortash. Here follows a report on the inroads upstart smuggler Enver Gortash making on the illicit arms trade Shunatha Valley through inroads. Illegal arms have never been a major component of the guild's business. His apparent ambitions, it would be unwise to assume Gortash will stop there. Well, he did not stop there. Don't mind if I do. Found a silver key. What's inside? On the inevitability of moral decay and its benefits. Gold. Gold ingots and camp. Smoke powder bomb. Location of reserve supplies. Buried behind the counting house, the path to Baldur's Gate near the upper city. Kai? I have such a headache. Archduke's leadership, public works. Check these. Trying not to just loot everything I see. So that's a recurring issue for me, isn't it? Oh. Archduke, public, voluntary campaign, blah, blah, blah. Now, where is this uh, secret place? Probably behind there, I would think. Investment opportunities. Buy Almraven Shipyards, Keltron Castle, Sell Calimport, Sifu, Tushburi. Note to Knights and Shields, find within our latest intelligence on the city's lockdown alternative smuggling routes. Record of operation in Neverwinter. Okay. Now what did you say? Something about you would tell me when I was close. Did you not? Explore claims. Explore the hideout. Perhaps claim some useful items. Has anything been useful so far? Do I have to sit down? I don't know. There doesn't seem to be a lot here. Something over there. Hmm. I knew there was something here. But what's that detected? Huh? You detected something, but what? That's curious. Ah. You just knew it was gonna be there, didn't you? Hidden room. My old home. Thank you for bringing me back. Look around. You'll find some of my things still intact. Perhaps even Sword of the Emperor. My old sword. My first purchase as an adventurer. It's to me anymore. It's yours. Four to thirteen. Shapeshifter Slayer deals an additional 1d4 against shapeshifted or polymorphed creatures. Magical durability, a plus two bonus to saving throws. Seems kind of lame, I'll be honest with you. I'm just going to have Carla carry it. Alright, bro. Um, what are you reading? My god, it's all smut. A shell. A keepsake from my final voyage. Pinched in a moment of sentimentality. Isn't it funny how we could be sentimental about things like that? Like a shell. I literally have shells and rocks from like places I've been to. What do you have? Anything? Tell me in a comment, like. But not like, oh, I have like something which actually is just an odd thing that you put a sentimentality on of, you know, a rock off of a beach you were on and you kept it. And when you look at that, you still have all of that feeling and nostalgia and you're sort of transported back there. It's funny, it's a funny little human thing. I think. My old wardrobe, the home of all my disguises. We are what we appear to be. Pistachio disguising. Whoa! Nice cosplay. Citadel armor, 18, heavy armor. 
Frightened immunity. Can't be frightened. And some citadel gloves. Charm or frighten a creature and gain a 1d4 on them. Can I try this on just to see how I look? Ah, looks different on me to how it did in there, doesn't it? We don't actually have anyone that wears heavy armor. So I'll send it to camp. Ba -dum -bum -bum -bum. Your desk. That might be worth a look. What? The fork? you detect? I'm confused. There she is, in all her glory. Jubelin Stelmay, my own partner. It annoys me when we detect something I don't know what it is that we've detected. Like, what was that shui about? I can't see anything. Like, it should just show up. It should be more obvious. Um... I keep lots of stuff, though. I have, like, cinema tickets from... That might be worth a look. Who knows how long ago. Cinema stubs. Bus tickets, even. From special days. I used to buy my meals. Oh. Villains and lawbreakers. You see, I tried to exercise morality where I could. This is your dungeon. That's curious. An old container for brains. Empty. Shame. It would have been nice to find one to sustain me now. Zombie. A recipe for fiddlehead soup. A favorite meal of mine. When I had need of meals like that. I think it is just directing me to these things. Chopped fiddleheads. Knob of butter. One onion chopped. Blah, 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 blah. Um, melt the butter, do not burn, add flour, stir in cream. Sure. Backpack. Nothing in it. Burlap sack with a rotten mushroom. It's down here. This is my bird cave. Invasion plans. Map of the Sword Coast. Patient log. Let's Stelmane. see what this does. A journal stamped with the official seal of Duke Stelmane. It appears to be an attendance log of the care given during the Duke's ongoing illness. Can't explain the relapse. Duke lacks appetite, awareness, or interest in anything. Occasionally asks after visitor, which I suspect might be cause of current condition. Duke used to receive visitor in private every ten day. Always hooded and cloaked. Always shown in and left to attend Duke privately. No luck in finding. Oddly enough, can't recall visitor's gender or even stature. Could be half-orc or halfling for all I know. Hoping for their return. Like, memory stuff. Okay. Ah, that's what the key was for. What's this? Noxious fumes. I'm sure we could find a way to clear those. Let's see what that other route is for a second. Where did I come in? The ladder? Didn't feel like we came down a ladder. Um, who's got something to deal with this? Just a brief respite. What now? Can anyone do any 
wind blowing. What would interact with fumes? Blowing the wind, maybe some fire. I guess maybe an elemental with wind. <laughs> an elemental with wind. Um, for this campaign, I'll actually be playing as an elemental with terrible wind. Um, every time I roll a one, I get bloated. Wait, what's that? Primordial gales. Cr cracking stormy wind. I mean, maybe you can just go and... Can you do that lever for us? I cannot. I am made of wind. Right, okay. Maybe your wind will get rid of this area. No. What good are you then? All is ash and meat. I'm going to just run in there and do it then. Or jump up there and do it. Bam 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 bam. I wonder if I can throw something at it. That work? I'll throw my loot. It says parts interrupted. How? Good idea, I think. <gasps> I'm a genius! Oh my god, it actually works. I bloody love this game. And then can I just pick the loot up? Or did it like break? Oh no, it's still there. It's just on top. It looks tiny. That actually worked. Oh my gosh. It's so cool. Alright. Best be on my way. Oh, another one. And he Ball? Death's head of Ball? Against refugees. Save. What's happening? What are you doing? Halt! This one is an ally of Our Lady in Red. Orin spoke of you. You walk in the Dread Lord's favor. Perhaps you wish to partake in his service. Go ahead. Their blood is yours to spill. Attack the refugees. Carry on without me. I will not slaughter these people. I will free them from your tyranny. Heretic! You act against Orin. You act against Baal. And our lord has no mercy for sinners. I'll act with no one who wears that kind of hood on their head, to be honest with you. You look absolutely... Ridiculous. Now, I'm going to go ahead and fly my little windy boy in here. We're going to have some fun, alright? Ba -ba -ba. Oh my god. Bow, bow, bow. That's so cool. I want to hit that barrel. I want to blow them up. To be honest with you. It's literally my number one priority. Um, if I throw, can I throw as far as that? Handy. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, and then we just have you to deal with. Now, can I literally throw you? I just want to pick you up and throw you off. Okay, I think we should be able to get you. Let's put a uh, maim. Save from maiming strike. Behold the dance of Stepping death. on a leg will be like. And then 
pull you away from my peeps. Get over here. I'm just going to owlbear it up. Old faithful. Bolts. Spiritual weapon. Crit. A starion. No. Hit them. Good job, gang. What to do? Didn't even need the old bear. By which I mean the owl bear, not me. You'll always need me, won't you, darling? There you got some blades, some armor. Let's go see if the refugees are okay. Light on my feet. Da, 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 da. What did that click do? Time what? to pack it in for the day. What's that clicking? What did it do? Clicks and then what? something happen? Are they dead? Did they like step on that and it killed everyone? They were still alive when that started. Might be. Ah, he had a broken loot in his pocket. I'll give it a shot. He was but a lootist. Gosh, what a way to die. We are in the sewers. Why? I do not know. Quack! Simple. Are we no longer in... I feel like we're just sort of going backwards. I will explore. May as well explore it. One step at a time. Let's see where we moving in. Come out. Check the map here. So sewers up there. Murder target Alexander is here apparently. And talk to someone in the song. There's someone in here. What are those? Grease methods. Shut up and keep your mucky little peepholes peeled. <laughs> I don't like that. Shut up. Okay, so I want to go up. The name of that river down there. Wizard called it the Sue Amazing. Whatever it's called, it's impressive, and it tastes great. Gross. Hello. Can we talk or not? Apparently not. Just keep going. Did you go for a swim earlier? What's this, cousin? <clears throat> Another absolutist come to see what we did to poor old Sarin. Your god took her mind, cultist, so Vareki took her head, and I burned the flesh from her bones. And now you come to interrupt the funeral rites. I... Yes, cousin. An excellent idea. Cousin says we will take you in return. He says you look just like kindling for Sarin's funeral pyre. Right. I'm not with the absolute. I believe you may believe that. The Absolute takes people, twists them. Sarin, Bereki, and I, we were the three finest thieves in Baldur's Gate. We broke into the offices of Gortash, discovered he was with the Absolute too. Your fellow cultists hunted us, so we hid down here. 
we were safe, and so was our loot, until the darkness soured Sarin's mind. She kept our treasure from us, said Bereki and I had gone strange. Hush, cousin. Sarin turned Definitely into a cultist not herself, strange. so we did what we had to. Bereki wept until his voice was gone, and then he was gone too, leaving only me to conduct Sarin's rites. And my cousins here. You cannot conduct the rites without a clan to bear witness, or some fuel for the fire. Well, I'm not a cultist. I don't think your friend was either. Your paranoia has turned you against one another. It's an 18. Nice. Let's get it. Good. I'd like to avoid a fight here and just get through with the story, honestly. 29. Big numbers. She swore she was no cultist, but you all lie. The absolute turns you. I don't know. I don't know. Pass then, and do not come back. This is Sarin's final resting place, and a killing ground for all who come to disturb her. Okay. We so we're all good. And it says... So murder target Alexander is up here, I guess. I guess it's another way to get around the city. We, uh, you might want to dismiss your friend. People might get a little bit wary out here. No time to rest. Now, let me see. We claimed a valuable weapon. There may be even more to explore. Right, and this has brought us out on the docks. God, this map is so big, isn't it? Yeah, ha, 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 so what do we have around us? Wait, there's someone moving. Close. And up. In this building. Now. So where am I right now? I'm in the lower city. Ah, oh, I've just whoop, skipped a whoop, bunch over here. Now, let's see what this person is. Oh. God's damned hypocrites! The Blade of Frontiers. All pomp and empty oaths. The Sword Coast's most dashing fraud. You are either a fool for trusting him, or a wretch for conspiring with him. Doesn't matter which. Lady Mizora told me everything. How Will slaughtered his own father. How he craves his power. How he means to make the city bow to him and him alone. This city holds no place for you or for Raven Guard's treacherous spawn. It's not true, first of all. And also, we saved you from prison. Yeah, when we found you in prison, you'd given up. Listen. Raven Guard could still be alive. We intend to save him. You are being unreasonable and you lack nuance. What are you, chronically online, Floric? Touch grass, grow up, and shut up. At ease. By the living gods, I believe you. As you should. What darkness has fallen upon us? There's something you must know. I should have told Will sooner, but... I'd hoped somehow Raven Guard would return to us. He knew about the Absolute. I thought little of it at first, but he realized the danger before anyone else did. He understood that if the cult were successful in raising an army, Boulder's Gate would be doomed. Before the Absolute has subducted him, he told me that should he fall, I should seek Will out and give him a message. Will was schooled in the ways of the great champions. 
He is to use those lessons to wake the worm sleeping beneath Baldur's Gate. The worm is oath-bound to answer what? the call and come to the city's aid. A worm? What is this, Dune? A worm? A dragon? A bronze dragon, yes. What? He sleeps beneath us even now, awaiting a hero to rouse him. The worm goes by many names. Ansur, the waiting storm, the heart of the gate. He promised Baldurin he'd protect the city if ever its existence was threatened. But just the once. The city has faced countless threats. But Ravenguard knew it could not survive the absolute slaughter. With him gone and the city near ruin, the worm's awakening now falls to you and will. The Duke That's cool. gave me this. The legend of <laughs> Ansur. An ancient epic, ill remembered, dismissed as a mere tale. Let it set the path before you, or do not, and see Baldur's Gate burn to ash. All right. I will take that message to him. Thank you. In darkness. I see your light. I should go. I know of still others that might help us when the battle horns call. Dude, we're getting Unleash so many allies and stuff. Let his tempest swallow the absolute and its allies. And may they be driven forever from the coast. I wonder how it's going to handle all this at the end. It's going to be a pretty insane battle. Right, so the legend of Ansar. Baldur's Great. Baldur's Gate. Great Baldurin's birth. O Baldrin founded you veneration. His guardian dragon answer, tremendous in worth, a saviour below our eternal elation. To worm way neath prison's deepest level, to be found by not a soul nor devil. Entrance in Worm's Rock Prison? With a lightning shock, a true hero's spark flickers. The torch is alight, and Worm's eyes shall awake a glitter. Something about sparks and torches use lightning skills. Its trials no common adventurer may exceed. When each day sends forth new ones to their fates, but one great hero by the Founder's will decreed, shall only once grant our age the heart of the gate. Only a great hero can pass the trials and awaken and sir. Okay. But what's this of a true hero spark? Hey, Sparky. What's this? The Glitter Gala. What would a Glitter Gala be? Clothes? Jewels. But of course. Perception. What are we perceiving? Or failing to? Bloody hell, that's annoying. Drab attire? Lackluster skin? Sorry? My darling, you need my gems. They'll brighten even a ghoul like yourself. <clears throat> or, if you are the practical sort, I also stock enchanted stones. They're almost as magical as myself. Babe, did you just call me a ghoul? A skeleton would be more accurate. <sighs> You have good bones, darling. You just need decoration, and you're in the right place. Does this normally work on people? Because I'm leaving. I swear, if I went into someone and they were like, you look like trash, this will make you better, I'd be like, no thanks. Uh, like, uh, totally, just tell me I'm, like, be the way to do it would be, wow, like, you are stunning, and this would make you look just that little bit extra better, or this would, um, accentuate your beautiful eyes, or something. Don't Seems insult me. Can I play the piano? Genius. A customer. Come, docker. You look like someone who knows their way around a lute. Or perhaps you enjoy the drums. Flute? No. Liar. What do you call me? Oh, the instrument. I prefer the sound of nature's chorus. Oh. Well, 
no matter. My instruments make the most splendid of gifts. I'm sure you'll find something for even the most contrary of bards. Aren't Thank you, you who I'm telling is in danger? I hope you have a wondrous day. Why does it sound like it's your first time talking to someone? Uh, nope, it's that guy. Sorry, won't. Oh wait, that's not the way out. That is just upstairs. Let's go, gang. How many die today? How many die tomorrow? Maybe keep those thoughts to ourselves, sweetie. As we continue to explore the lower city, the city. Oh. Are you in here? The Face Maker's Boutique. I think Master Figaro has a few spaces between appointments today. You're in luck. You're in luck. Well, Figaro is who we want to see. Figaro. Face Maker fashion. Don't just look the part. Be the part. And if you want to uh, be the part um but master figaro still has some space between appointments yes okay do i just go through figaro 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 yeah you appear to be lost dear i specialize in fashion not potato sacks i Every day I come here and I am abused. Like, it is just one shop after another telling me, Listen, don't be rude. I don't want to get blood on my suit. A certain level of class is expected by my clientele. So if you wish to stay, I must insist you purchase some less depressing garments. I am... Look, you're in danger. I kill... What are you selling? That's, that's... I sell anything and everything needed to cultivate your countenance. Your life is in danger, but me the best you'll find in Boulder's Gate. More important. Certainly better than any dreck you'll pick up in Worms Crossing. Right, let me see. Very good, ma'am. Oh, it's a lot. It's a lot, and I'm overwhelmed immediately. An angelic scion outfit. Un new underwear and it looks a bit strappy okay some hats as well right well listen before anything else happens I'm going to take that strappy underwear um okay these just look like what we've tried on before I will take that angelic scion that sounds tasty as and Dudes, anything else look different here? An elegant robe, no thanks. The Lionheart outfit. No. Was this midnight shaded outfit? I don't. I wish I could try these on. You know? I'm sure, they're lovely. And lots of different dyes and stuff. Just, you know, you might need more than one underwear. And then what's this? Sort of something else? More underwear. And more underwear. I just... A uh, pocket full of panties right now. But I want to try them on. Now remember, fashion's a fickle miss... Yeah, one second. Your life's in danger, but just can I... Give me a moment, thank you. Let's see... Ah, it's instead of my actual underwear, so I have to just disrobe this. God! Golly! Right. Ahem. <clears throat> okay, that's. I'm just standing there like that, am I? Right. A bit chilly all of a sudden. Um. Okay, let's try the other one on. Ah, it's just more straps on the, the old thighs there. And, uh. This one? Nice. Very... I mean, we should all hang out in these afterwards, I... Honestly. 
That's a nice simple one there. That's great. And then this wonderful that is, isn't it? The angelic scion over the strappy underwear. That's incredible, that is. But I, you know, I, I like my, um... I mean, this is seen, it's, it's seen its day, isn't it? That's, we should probably have, 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 have those on and then put my clothes back on. There we go. Thank you very much. How will Astarian look in these? Let's see how they look on a dude. Dun, 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 dun. Just da, da, ding, ding. close. Right, strip off. <laughs> Your little blue and white panties. He looks like he's at the uh, water park. I'm just gonna go down the uh, water slide. It's the big one. It's the one where it, uh, you know, you stand and you cross your arms across your chest, and they give you a little countdown, and the floor opens up underneath you, and just wee. I love it. Oh my god, that is ridiculous. Not a chance. That is like He-Man. That looks alright on you. God, that is absolutely crazy. Wow. Right, stick to your little water park, bloody speedos, my man. <sighs> dun dun dun. The way, if I wasn't just sort of recording this, I would just spend hours in all of the fashion shops going through everything. Let's get going. But I am keen to uh, finish up this playthrough sometime in 2024, and it's taking a long time. Let's get on with it. Let's do get on with it. I just wanted to make sure you're comfy and what you have on underneath, which is, I mean, that looks <laughs> just shield burlesque show going on. Yeah, I don't really like you in this underwear. That's good for you. That outfit is good. That looks good. That looks pretty great. With the shield, that works so well. Color scheme goes really well with it. Where's the strappy number? Thought I sent that to you as well. The dog collar. Which is... doesn't appear on you. Which is a shame. Um, where? That's your normal underwear. That's that one, which I do like. I thought I could have sworn I sent strappy underwear to you. Ah, it's that one. That looks great. It's giving very like a sort of '80s action movie. It's very similar to what I have on. Not so keen on the back, though. Like, still straps here. I wish this was just sort of a normal underwear kind of thing. Front looks cool. I like this one. With that one over the top. Looks pretty great, honestly. Look cool. What's your normal camp outfit? I mean, oh, it's, so, oh, it's actually instead of that camp outfit, huh? Yeah, it's giving Wonder Woman... Like, I would like it under that as sort of a, like, different vibe, but I, I can't imagine taking Shadowheart out of this cool camp outfit, to be honest with you. Bum, bum, bum. Karlak wants to go, perhaps. If pants could brood, Shadowheart's underwear. I think they each have a little message, don't they? Examine... Embroidered into the cloth of Astarian's underwear. If you're reading this, you managed to bed or behead me. Either way, you got lucky. Wow. I think Karlak's just say, like, how do these not burn off? Yeah, I've seen that one before. No one back home will ever believe this. Karlak is wearing... Ah, again, you're wearing your outfit. But what's your underwear? It's that, and if you put the strappy one on... Looks pretty good on I mean, I think that really suits Carlax. We'll have that underneath her usual outfit. Bow, bow, bow. 80s, like, sort of overly sexualized playthrough at some point. Just everyone in. It's a shame you have to get to Act 3 to get those, but I'm sure you could just mod them in and just run around in uh, strappy outfits and wielding big swords, you know? I was a big fan of Masters of the Universe. 
Right, can I... Right, your, li your life is in danger, sir. Sorry, I was just having a little detour of... Seems like a good moment to talk. Kink. Make haste. I have a very busy day of very demanding clientele ahead. What do you require? You're in danger. <laughs> if looks could kill, Lord Gortash would have already hanged me. I wouldn't worry too much. This is undoubtedly some rumour cooked up by my many rivals. It's not a rumour. You're literally on a list of targets. Other people are already dead. Well, I suppose if it's that elaborate a prank, it rules out my sister as the culprit. Carmen can barely organise her own shop. Never mind Calm's stage of mystery to meddle with me. Very well. I'll take my precautions. Thank you. Is that it? Alright. You're welcome for the business, I guess. Excuse me, sir. I just like to. Thank you. Okay, what else is around here? The murder targets are down there. And there is the mermaid that we want to go into. No matter what the mouth says. Sorry? The mouth can publish all the fluff pieces it wants about those steel watchers. I think they're a menace. To the mermaid. The amount of voice acting and NPCs that are in this, and I didn't get asked to do a voice, you know, just think. <sighs> Tragic. Joking, of course. Literally zero reason that they would know me. Bam, ba -dum, bam, bam. But if anyone's watching, I'll, I'll literally, I'll voice anything. I'll, I'll voice a mouse for two lines, please. It's a big collection of people up here. I think they might be ones in the pub, or is it down there? I'm, I'm trying to just like sort of. Uh, tunnel vision blinker myself on of like proceeding because I'm getting so overwhelmed with how, how much there is here. I thought the this was like a blue man group member. But his hood's just up. Right. Is this the mermaid? God. It's like a Northern UK city centre. The Blushing Mermaid. No pissing or shitting. If you break it, you pay for it. Any fighting and Captain Grizzly has sank you. Got it? It is a northern city centre. Right. I'm here about a missing girl. Guards above. Not again. You pull a knife on me like the last one and you're getting the boot, you hear? Who pulled the knife on you now? That woman, Lara, Laura, whatever her bloody name is. She was screaming her head off about some kid. Tore the place apart. Ooh, bloody disturbing. Captain Grizzly had a clocker in the end. Threw her out on her arse. Good riddance. Right. Where is this Captain Grizzly? I'd like a word. Nothing hurts me. <sighs> What's happening? They're just called Tipplesome Patrons. As drunks. Ah, Captain Grizzly. over in peace. Oh. Why, hello there. Captain Grizzly at your service. What can I do for a long drink of water like yourself? <sighs> Finally, a little bit of respect and compliments, but I mean, it's not coming from the greatest of places, is it? Listen, I'm here about the missing girl. Oh, not this claptrap again. Listen. Laura was here, all right? Knocking back pints like there's no tomorrow. But she was alone. I saw head nor ass of this so-called kid, and when we tried to kick her out, she pulled a knife on my front man. Bet she didn't tell you that bit, huh? If she's not here, where is she? <sighs> not a notion. 
but not a soul has seen this so-called vanner of hers, myself included. Look, I know Laura from my pirating days. Has everyone she had their the memory wiped? Crew. Heard they tossed her overboard when she gutted the bosun over a game of cards. Now, I'd no beef with her before this. All are welcome in the maid. But threatening my staff, claiming we took her kid, she's bonkers. <laughs> Dangerous. Next time she pulls a knife on me and mine, someone might die. Something has to be done. Um, look, a child is missing and I want to get to the bottom of this. Gods. Do I have to spell it out for you? There is no child. Laura is mad as a box of frogs. She's dangerous. And I couldn't call myself a captain if I stood by and did nothing. Well, why would they wipe it's memories? Come to this, but I'll pay a hoard of gold to whoever scuppers her. Permanently. 3,000 gold to kill her? That's like more money than we've had recently. I'll do it. No, I won't. Absolutely not. That's insane. No less insane than lying about having a kid. If you don't do it, I'll find someone else. It's you literally... You can make it painless. Not everyone will. Well, first of all, maybe don't hire someone that won't. And then... Also, it's just... I need to think about it. Well, don't take too long. Or someone else might get there before you. Just don't hire anyone yet. I think people have had their brains wiped Bloody about the kid. Hell. So will you bring me Laura's head? Or do I... I wanted to see the uh, doesn't a captain need a ship because as I saw it as I clicked the other one, I feel like that is an exact line from Divinity 2. You say the same thing to a captain, I'm pretty sure. So I wanted to see if it was a reference, but... Oh well. In the basement of the mermaid. Okay, so that's the cellar door. That's where we came in. Who is wiping... Memories. Better not be cursed. Oh, no, that's where I came in, is it? Okay, that comes out here. Where is this kid then? We spoke to Captain Grizzly. She claims there isn't a child. The marmaid bartender told us Laura was behaving strangely and pulled a knife. We should speak to Grizzly about it. At the gate, we met a distraught Laura. Begged us for help. So we don't have any other leads right now. It's got to be something in here, right? Can we uh, hop up there? Is that go it doesn't go anywhere, though. Hmm. Can't jump up there now. Wish maybe there's something here. Ah! I knew that gold was a little bit of bait. I'll save it. Don't tell me she's bricked up in here. That's like what that's, that is actually like a nightmare. That's like being buried alive, like one of the worst ways to go. So you know when they like brick someone up behind a wall and they're still alive in shows or something. Oh my god. I chills thinking about it even. It's horrible. Even if it's the worst person and they do that, I'm always like, that is like just put me out of my misery. It's Good such a terrible way it. to go. I don't know why I'm doing the lock picking instead of Astarian. Wanna dance? Wanna dance? Oh, for a skeleton key. I don't dance. I mean, I do dance, but only on my own in the kitchen. And only with others if I'm in entirely alone. Like, I will dance with someone, but not in any sort of public setting. I'll have a romantic dance. I'll make you twirl, you know. Spin you around. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Pave my path with corpses. Everyone since 2019 be bones. like. This place. Why does it remind me of Auntie Ethel's home? 
Auntie Ethel. The hag? Oh. Right. Oh my god, I have to do a roll on every single one of these? Can I not just hit them? <gasps> wait, the mask people! Captain, wait! Captain Grizzly? It is like the Ethel's people. So we need to fight these again. Why is Captain... If you're Captain... Grizzly, who is upstairs? Oh my. Okay. Uh, ah, this fight was so annoying last time. So we're going to have to use... Oh, Shadowheart, can you... Traps. It's going to be distracting, you rolling around like that. Please. Please, my love. Put your armor back on. Um, oh, I'm going to have to, like, knock them out. So how do we do that? I can't remember how he switched to non-lethal. Bum 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 Not on lethal, it's an option somewhere. Blunt weapon. It's a blunt weapon and you switch it to non-lethal somehow. Toggle light source dual wielding. Like if I take this away, I give you the hammer. Has to be something not sharp, I believe. Common. Variant items. Passives. Ah. Non-lethal. There you go. At least things have stayed interesting. Toggle. Toggle non-lethal. Why was that already on for you? What's next? Wait, what? Does it do it for everyone? Ah, okay. I don't have to do it for... Okay, 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 okay. My face protects me. Um, and you switch to the Blood of Lathanda. And me and the star will be okay. Intestines throb, blood whispers. Right. Swift as my feet can carry me. You don't deserve death. That's why she tried to pay us to kill her. That's embarrassing. Let's be having ya. Yeah. What I remember it from last time is knock them out, but don't take the mask off. If I took the mask off, they died, I think. It was so long ago now. Alright, go on. Oh, you're immobile. Okay. How about now? Good. Whoa! Vengeance, so he hits back every time. Okay, they've got different powers. Still on my feet. I think the Albert is non lethal. I think it can be. Counts as a blunt melee, I believe. Critical miss. Knocked out. Great. Uh, 
Um, Astarian, I think maybe you just sit this one out. You don't really have much to do. Just chill there if they come. Little bard, bang a drum. Bang a gong, get it on. Oh, spiritual weapon, which is melee, would be great. Thanks. Oh, I didn't mean to skip that. Turn? My undo end turn? Cancel end turn. There we go. Ethel back again. Close, so close. Too heavy to throw. Another one knocked out. Another one bites the dust. And another one down. And another one down. So much for peace. Another one bites the dust. Hey. About a bit, but boo, skip it out, but but bam, bam. May the gods take you. Oh, you didn't pounce. Stay down, grizzly. Swift as my feet can carry. There's only one bear here. But did they... Oh my god, four health. That would have end ended them, I think. Knock them out, Karlak. If you can, please. Unconscious, right? And then the bard... Beat up, but up, up, up. I'm scared to hit you again because those claws are giving. I'm gonna cut you in two, so I'm gonna give you a chance here. We wanna we come this close. We wanna make sure that we don't kill you. a little knockout blow and save because that is perfect good job shows how far we've come from the last time we faced them down it's in your pockets you deserve to feel beautiful my darling, you, your letter just about broke this old woman's heart. Bucktooth Berta, they call you, those monsters. Meet me tonight at the Blushing Mermaid. Okay, I'm not going to take the mask off because that does kill them. What Maybe if dead. Laura sold her kid in exchange? Captain Grizzly. Man, these masks are hideous, aren't they? A ransom note. Bulky. My dear sweet Captain Grizzly, I've heard stories about you and what tales they were of mighty battles and magnificent sea monsters. There's a woman who'll never be caught with her knickers down, or so I thought. Imagine my surprise when I nabbed your precious bosun gannet from under your nose. And so easily. He's quite the resilient little bugger. Hasn't said a peep about you. 
He'll break, they always do. Meet me in the Blushing Mermaid basement, come alone. Who is that upstairs then? That must be the hag upstairs. I can save your child. You've been a silly thing, sweetie. Did I not warn you? Did I not tell you death was coming for wife and child both? You didn't listen. Now the love of your life is rotting in the ground. I can't save her, but your babe, your sweet little babe, who is the image of her, I can save him if you're willing to pay the price. <gasps> why is this one dead? Wait, why are you dead? What? Hang on. Why did you die? I don't understand. I knocked you out. What happened? Was it the... Uh, oh, I think it was the bomb of the flower. Oh, no. Oh, bloody hell. Do you know what? Grizzly's alive. That might be worth a look. We'll leave it there, I think. Uh, auntie, they showed up again like you said they would. They robbed me, stripped me naked, peed on me right in front of everyone. Some people laugh, some others looked away. No one helped me, not one person except you. I'll do it. I'll cook your meals, I'll make your bed, I'll wash your feet, anything you want. Make them scream. I just have one request. Can I watch? Oh. Well, I mean, that's sad, but it sounds like you probably deserve death there if you've set people up. Depends, though. It sounds like they did some pretty awful stuff, though. <sighs> well... Did my best. Your eyes become black corridors, walled in teeth. Your gaze capable of inflicting dread sickness or putting creatures to sleep. And an elixir of psychic resistance. I mean, how strange. Right. You guys are alive. That's fine. So where is she? She must be upstairs then. Right? That must be her. But where is she keeping the kid? She's got all these ingredients. Oh! Star in. Is someone there? I don't have any more rests. Watch your back. It's only a ten, but... Um... Someone doesn't like visitors. A Fifteen. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Use the key. And save from vicious mockery. Let's see. What's this lever do? That's curious. Where is this? This looks just like her home that we first found her in. Isn't it? Peace ball bell. What those are? Gnarly cauldron. Let's go through here and see. Or is this just... Ah! Is this just another way in? Move it, please. Eyes. Move. The. Arrows. Where are we right now? Wait. Ah. That was back in the basement. Okay. Um, let's turn... ...being... ...non-lethal off. I have a lot on my mind. And, well, in, in it. it. Should mind my step. Where is she? If I were an old witch, where would I be? Pearls, toxins, 
stuff that we never use? Why do I feel like I have to hit all of these peace wars? Why do I feel like that's going to do something? They seem to be beckoning to be hit, don't they? To be discovered. Save it. It's going to be a terrible idea. I sort of want to go upstairs and confront her, but I'm wondering if this is the source of her power. Could be. It's healing itself. Okay, so I've got to do something bigger. She's so gross. Very polite. Ethel, go away. I forgot how absolutely terrifying you are. You're like the scariest thing in this game. Oh, I let you go once already, hag. Don't get in my way. You made a mockery of me, you little shit. Besting me in my oh. own home. Did you think I would simply walk away? That said, I'm shocked and appalled, Petal. I can't believe you tried to gush me out in the open like that. After all, it's not just me anymore. I'm... What is it they say? Eating for two. Oh. Oh. Literally, like, she's what the Blair Witch looks like in my nightmares. Like, when that film used to keep me awake, and I thought she was behind me in bed. Like, <laughs> not literally in the bed with me, like, off the side of the bed, you know? Like, creeping in my room. You're pregnant? I gobbled <gasps> myself up a sweet little girl, and she was so very tasty. Vengra sits in my belly, growing fat with power. In time, I'll vomit her up and have myself a fresh young hag to train. Oh no. I have your beat, so do the heroic thing. Die. She prego? Oh Careful. my gosh. Kill the hag, kill the kid. So maybe we take out her mushrooms instead? Save Vanra. We found Auntie Ethel hiding in the blushing mermaid. We have to be careful if we kill her. Vanra dies too. There must be a way to save her. It's got to be the mushrooms. It's got to be. Um, I guess I turned non-lethal off too early. Hag pregnancy is a thing here. The hag has eaten the child. Killing the hag leads to the child's death. Is this ethyl or an illusion? Lair magic has magic resistance, right? I mean, goodness me. I think we send you for this one out here and the others can deal with these, but actually just try. Still got that bloody warhammer out, actually. It's gonna be no good, it's gonna heal itself. I don't think Karlak's actually capable of enough damage in one go. Let's see. Let's turn someone inside out. Okay, it hasn't healed yet. So if you hit your Scorching Ray. Oh, it's close. Okay. Growths. I'm gonna not change just to keep my spells going. I want to get some heals. Getting a little rough. Take you. And let's get to that next one. Uh, she's the sister of the same pearl. She's so scary. 
scariest thing in the game so far. Ah, there it is. Are there any more? Under their noses. Uh, can't do a jump, can't misty step. <laughs> ah, she was in the way. Invisible, unless I couldn't hit it. Bink. Not very effective. Let's spill some blood. Let's spill some blood. Can you even see it from here? No. Right, give me that wall of fire. Still breathing, despite everything. Oh, I don't know if we can get close enough. Light on my feet. Jump's gone already. It's gonna heal, but I'll be ready for the next go around. You can get it, can you? Too far. I don't know, is there more hiding? It says you're revealed. Was there another somewhere? What if the mushrooms were literally nothing? I'm just being silly. Maybe we have to passive knock you out. I mean, we still have the weapons equipped, so... Not like that, babe. With the melee, you're gonna eat it. Kill the child. <laughs> what? Where'd you go? I'm ready. I thought I had the whole like sea invisibility thing. A better position. What now? With me eyeball. Have seen everything. If I get close, I should be able to see her, right? Mushroom somewhere. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, she got them powers. Casting plagues everywhere. How many moves do you want? Goodness. Ah, uh, Shadow Heart's the last one alive. Sorry. And I, I'm all out of spells. I can't even bring everyone back. Shield of Devotion, heal yourself and increase your hit points. Preserve life. But we want to get close so we can get all of them. Hopefully on the next go. If you ah, why? Last much longer. Sweetie, have a health. You've got to survive the next turn or I'm doomed. Right. Well, hopefully you survive. Just survive. Oh my god, she dodged another one. The Starion died. Karlak actually died. I died. Okay. Bloody hell. Let's try that again, shall we? 
Right. So we need to take these out and survive again. Can I long rest down here? Might be a good idea. Don't mind us elves. Foraging's a thing. What? Purchase camp supplies. Visit the dumb way to hatch. Because we're technically in the elf song. Wait, what? This is my camp now? Whilst we're in town? Breathe deep and move. That was so scary. Oh my gods. <laughs> And we can have soup. I made it. Want some? Oh my gods. Literally delivered in the same way as like, oh my days. Soup. Um, do I trust? I mean, okay. You've... Oh, it's like camp supplies. Okay. I'll have some pumpkin soup. Sure. You want some... It's 100 gold for you. Why are you only pleased with this offer? It's worth 10. Give me so much. Brat. I like the music in here. Hello? What, what, what? This is... Look at these beds. Since we arrived in the city, I can't help but feel a little anxious. But I'm not sure I know why. Well, how can I help? I don't think it's what happens if we fail that concerns me. We'll be beyond our worries at that point. I think what bothers me is what happens if we succeed. I've never been able to write my own future. I wouldn't even know where to begin. Doesn't have to be daunting. Just dream about what you would like. Start at the beginning. Imagine it's the day after we defeat the Absolute. What then? Well, I want to save my parents, of course. Take them away. Far from Shah's influence. Someplace peaceful. Away from the city, perhaps. Go on. Like room for animals. Yes! Sorry. Lots of them. All shapes and sizes. So long as they appreciate a warm fire and more affection than they know what to do with. It's the dream. Literally. Don't stop now. What else? I want to grow flowers. I want to be surrounded by colors every day. I'm tired of darkness. Anything else? Yes. I want to share it all with you. If you're willing. Of course. I'm willing. Then it sounds like I have everything I need. More of life than I'd ever imagined possible without Shaw. The dream. Just go escape somewhere and animals and flowers and... God, I love her even more. Your mind tingles as it opens to Will. He learns of Mazora's meddling and Floric's tale of the dragon Ansur. Curse that rotten devil and her forked tongue, trying to set Floric against me. She's a damnable inferno of chaos. What matters now is that Floric saw sense, and we know our path forward. We'll finish what my father couldn't. We'll awaken Ansur, the heart of the gate. O oh, Balderan. Founder due veneration. His guardian dragon answer tremendous in worth. A savior below our eternal elation. Hold on. Ah. I was reaching for my cardigan. Because I'm so cold. Um, okay, sure. Yes. Uh, translation. Consider this. To worm way neath prison's deepest level. That must mean worm's rock prison. That's where we'll find the entrance to this worm way. Then this. With the shock of a true hero's spark flickers, the torches alight, and worm's eye shall awake a glitter. 
To open the way, we'll need to spark torches. This dragon, Ansor, was Baldurin's ally. We'd be fools to let him sleep while the Dead Three's Chosen raised the city. <clears throat> okay, sure. Um, by the way, I'm Balspawn. Hells, it explains so much. Listen to me. I knew another like you, Gorion's Ward, one of Baldur's Gate's great heroes. Baal's blood ran through their veins too. They burned away their own darkness with their own inner light. They chose courage. They chose honor. And so can you. All right, then. Could get used to this. Something on your mind? Yeah, you being you a know treacherous. Exactly what's on my mind? A little punk with Floric. Why only the truth? That you bear the blame for the Duke's untimely demise. Such a loyal servant of the city, so eager to hear of your exploits. Tell me, darling, how is she? Alive, no thanks to you. What a relief. It would be a shame if she'd struck down the one and only blade. Alas, she misses the fallen duke. Someone will need to step up in his absence. A man with the spirit of a dragon. His only son. Perhaps. I wouldn't kick her out. Of many things. Right, are we good to sleep? Where's my bed? Go to bed. There we go. So that one in particular. For a full night's sleep. Hello, perhaps? Where am I? The land of dreams? They say that home is where a person can be their truest selves. Without guile. Without pretense. You did well to see off the Githyanki who had invaded mine. And now that you have seen where I come from, you know all there is to know about me. At least, all that matters. Please put a beam on. The flavors of my favorite fiddlehead soup, should you wish to experience it for yourself. The very first reward I gifted myself on completion of my first adventure. The garments with which I concealed and later constructed my appearance as the Emperor. We spoke of my relationship with Duke Berlin Stillman, a story I have told no one else. I have no more secrets from you. No need to resort to subterfuge. We are true allies now, working towards a common goal. Okay. You, uh... Really don't sound like a mind flayer. I have learned to adapt my methods to your needs. The only way we were ever going to get close enough to the brain to destroy it was by working together. But few would trust a mind flayer. So I did what I had to to convince you. I studied you. Your motivations, your actions, your desires. I deduced the best way to align your goals with my own. Okay, and what did you learn? That you are complex and full of contradictions. It was no easy task, but I had to persist. I needed your absolute dedication to the cause. I anticipated the challenge, and I anticipated your resistance. What I didn't anticipate was how much I would enjoy your company. Yep, we're just a regular couple of besties. 
totally platonic and stuff. Don't... Make it awkward, man. Sometimes, I felt almost like we were dancing our way towards something deeper. Oh, well, now you've, now you've, now you've done it. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yeah, you, you, you trying to flirt with me? Would you like that? Oh, absolutely not. Sorry, this is not going to happen. I'm half tempted to hit a save to explore. Um, <clears throat> out of a sort of morbid duty to the video, but... I absolutely never in a million years uh, would this be something my character would do. Um, it's just giving the friend that then ruins the friendship, you know? <laughs> would you like that? No. <laughs> Sorry, now we can't hang out anymore. You made it weird. Go on then. The back of your mind warms with a rush of feeling. The Emperor's feeling. Heat, care, a ransom. Tingling my brain. Take its tentacle in your hand and invite it in. Sorry. Lean in towards it. I don't want to get any closer to that mouth. I'll touch your tentacle. and hope it's an erogenous appendage. Would you mind parting those tentacles? Wow. Wow. Okay. I mean, both of those are interesting options to see what happens, but I, I mean, I have the memory from the history here where it's under the tentacles, so would you mind parting them? Oh, why is it not doing his dialogue? I can make this easier. I can make oh. this easier for you if you like. My other form might be more familiar for you to navigate. Oh my god, it's the bear all over again of making the choice. I prefer this one. Just show me what to do. Please do. I mean, please don't, because I made you Gobbo the Goblin. <laughs> I made him my little green goblin man. Uh, hello. Let's have some drum smacks. Um, just... This one's fine. This one's also far less likely to need any editing, to be honest, of content. Just don't do anything crazy. I mean, this is like, what, this, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, hey, Larry, and you into some stuff. Not the fangy mouth. It's like a big tongue. Ugh. It's not giving tentacle, it's giving tongue. I have an amazing butt. You go ahead and grab that, because it's amazing. Oh. 
people do this scene and be like, yeah, I romance? Like, who would find the, the mind flayer attractive? I'd like, if you'd please. Everything you ever dreamt of and more. The single greatest experience of your life. Like, look at that thing. Pleasure upon pleasure as mind and body intertwined. It was hard to tell where thoughts ended and feelings began. You can read the Emperor's expression better now that you've connected on a deeper level. You know it feels the same way. It seems the tadpole allowed you to share more than you would have liked with your companions. Oh my god, they all saw it. I said I'd protect you from the absolute, not each other. And I was distracted. The look of disgust. Don't worry. I'll make sure they don't remember a thing. Come. Again? It's time to get dressed. Oh. We have work to do. Right. Sure I can't tempt you into another round? I am tempted. But it will be quite some time before I am uh, able to do that again. Oh, I see. And time is not on our side. Not got the stamina, Ruffy. Well. <clears throat> the Elder Brain's hive mind has grown to monstrous proportions. And through the Crown's magic, it has complete control over each and every member. It was intelligent before, but now, with its hive mind established across the city, it is well on its way to becoming indestructible. You know now of your father's plans to use the Elder Brain to slaughter the world over. One need not read minds to foresee the horrors he will bear with your hand. If you do not, look how pleased I am with that idea. Yes, father. You should reconsider your attachment to your physical form. You have seen what an Olivid can do. You have experienced the pleasure for yourself. Imagine, some of that could be in your grasp. Not enough to warp your appearance beyond recognition, but just enough to enhance your potential. No. It we would make us even more compatible. We tried it already. We did ruins my as well looks. as radically increasing our chances of success against the Elden Ring. Think on it. Do it how I do it. I beg I can get some reactions before they forget everything. Just for Shadowheart to be like, really? Hey, can you guys tell me? Did you want something? If not, I'm perfectly happy. Uh, I just did a quick save. Is that gone over my over my over my quick save? Okay, I'm going back, and that didn't happen because I just for the scene, but not for the canon. Would you like that? Do you like that? Do you like that? Uh. I would rather be sick to business. Good instinct. The Elder Brain's hive mind has grown to monstrous problems. Okay, so it just it skips that scene and then he says the same you, thing. You should imagine and believe in God. As you drift into sleep, you feel a certain disappointment. The mind flare was very quick to abandon its attentions on you. I mean, why would he waste his time? We said no. It's like the right thing to do. If someone shows no interest in you, you're like, all right, peace, no worry about it. That's why I don't get like so many people who continue to chase. They're like, but, 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 but. And it's like, if someone says they don't like you, why are you trying to convince them into it? Like, what? <laughs> like, it's both a good, I can hookah. Oh, no, I can steal it. It's both a positive and a sort of toxic trait, because it is like, if if you're not number one, then forget it. Like, bye. Um, 
like whenever I watch the dating shows and they're like hey like yeah like go explore it with other people and then if you come back to me that's all good right like Love Island or whatever yeah it's fine that you go and hang out with them for a bit and see if you like them I would just be so Leo about it where it's just if someone did that I'd be like you sorry you went on a date with them or like kiss them or something well no it's absolutely we're, we're done sorry I'm all or nothing Wags his tail, a small bag clenched between. He gives in and surrenders. A fishing his rod, thanks. So toxic. Scratch's tongue lolls out happily, his tail wagging even faster. I love the lighting in here. All right, what do you have to say for yourself? I've had my eye on you. Oh, another one. Hot as brimstone. I'm Jagged as lightning and seething like the river sticks. But there's something missing, isn't there? You're hungry for pleasures beyond this plane. Bloody something more satisfying than mortal flesh, blood, and bone. Bone, you say? Is, um, did, did, did my hair fall in a certain way today? Like, what's the deal? Why is everyone all up in my business? Um, sounds delicious. I'm gonna save though. I mean, yes, but let's. Oh yeah. The ecstasy of agony, the pain of the damned, distilled into pure bliss. Beyond every climax you've known, the little death writ large. Le petit mort. Smile. And I'll come to you when you put your head down to rest. I will sate your most forbidden lusts. Or don't. I know the eternal ache of the unknown and the unanswered. Smile. Tonight, then. Be ready. Well, I guess I'm going straight back to bed. Sorry, everyone. Uh, expedition's off for the day. I've got a bit of a cold, and I need an additional sleep. Sorry. Be right with you. I mean, I would. I so would. Is it, like, wrong that an illithid, I'm like, absolutely no gross, disgusting, literal devil with wings? Sign me up. Take me down to hell and make it hot, like... Wait, what? No! I wanted to sleep! Listen, the witch can wait. There's a devil and she wants me to go to bed. Again, probably not canon, so we'll just see and then we may. Running low on the old supplies there. I feel like I should have dressed up in the strappy number for this. You are enveloped in myriad sensations all at once. Flaming desire and icy despair, the strength of iron and the haze of thick swamp mist. The nine hells of Beartor. The ultimate torment, some souls would say. <laughs> Those souls lack imagination. Bask in the powerful sensations rising from the circle. I'm going to show you the true wages of your sin. Pure lust courses through your veins and plucks at your flesh. You don't know what you want. Only that you want it. You feel it, don't you? Primal hunger, irrepressible decadence. Forget the heavens. This is paradise. Let me show you. Bring me the pleasures of hells. Sigh and brace yourself. What's the matter? 
Don't you trust me? An inferno engulfs you. Your lust blazes hot. Hey. Do you feel it? Avernus. Where hell's legions march, screaming their rage. Where the Styx collects the blood of the fallen. Reach out. Have a taste. Gorge on the river of blood, relish its flavour. The flavour is exquisite as spiced wine, terrible as rotting offal. It does not quench your lust, it only stokes it. Don't worry, pet. I won't leave till you're fully satisfied. Dis, the blackened Elysium. Minaros. The rotting bog. The molten seas and soil of Thlegathos. Stygia. The frozen ocean. I'm choosing. Choose a hell. Oh. Have your fill. I like the idea of the uh, rolling lava of Phlegathos. Magma flows around you and into you, and the devil in you is awakened. The heat is unbearable, yet somehow not nearly enough. You crave still more. To think how you starved yourself up to this moment. To think how you chose the sweet over the bitter. One last choice and starve no longer. Malbolgia, the desolation. The forgotten ruins of Maladomini. Cania and its mountains of ice. Or Nessus, the seat of infernal power. That one sounds cool. Look, I'm all like a flame from the previous one. I wonder if, I guess if I picked a different hell, I'd be all icy or whatever. Why would you pick a swamp, though? It sounds terrible. Give me the, uh, where the Hell's Overlord reigns supreme. You are flush with untold power. You could rip apart mountains and bring gods to their knees. This is the ultimate you. The commander of the plains. The director of fate. I love my freckles. The leaf is so silly, dude. Oh, like, I still have to edit it anyway. And know the essence of the hells. Step into Mazora's outstretched wings. Your hunger pulls you toward her. The hunger for the twin heats of Avernus and Phlegathos. Mizora's lips meet yours, and Nessus rises. You are locked in torrid struggle, each fighting to conquer the other. Yet in a wink, you are reformed. A devil in spirit, if not body. For one depraved night, you feast on the sins of the body, the mind, and the soul. Wow. The pleasure of torment. <laughs> the torment of pleasure. You're forever marked. Can't you feel it? Where my lips scorched your skin. How your soul burns with flame. Your pores flood with heat and frigid water. Your parched tongue searches for the right response. What have you done to me? I feel it and I'm not sure if I like it. You may not like it, but you'll crave it in spite of yourself. A pity for you, the one taste is all I'll give. Kind of you to offer a free sample then. 
Now that she's <gasps> tried out inferior goods, she'll know just how good she has it already. Oh, well, look who snuck in from the shadows. The girls are fighting. I think I'll nip out for a bit. Let you two lovebirds chirp. Who would I be to meddle in personal affairs? I love that. Get a shadow heart. Uh, I can explain. Pleasant evening, I trust. <laughs> I tidied up my hair and had an early night. But you don't look like you had much sleep at all. I'm not jealous, you know. If I wanted to bed something loyal and pure, I'd find a swan. Right. I mean, you were fine with the bear. I just, it, you know, you. D d uh, Shadowheart, she manipulated me into it. it. It meant nothing, I swear. It was a mistake. I'm sorry. I don't want to lose what we have. I'm glad to hear you say that. I had no idea the hells could be so heavenly. Um, God, what would we say here? It was a mistake, and I'm sorry. Spare me the scolded puppy routine. I already said I'm not angry. I'll still pet you as much as you like. Oh. The way I was raised, the way I was trained, well... It was positively encouraged to get to know each other. Even from the memories I can recall, there's stories I could tell you. All that said, there's no harm in asking me in advance. Sure. My apologies. Don't apologize. I'd rather see you happy than guilty. Just don't forget about me either. I have needs of my own. Have we even done anything but kiss? Us and Shadowheart? Is that bad that I can't remember? I mean, that was probably the best scene, I feel like, just now, I think. That was pretty hot. Why, like, Shadowheart being like, oh, I'll still give you all the pets you like, and being very kind of... like that is, uh... It's very, it's giving a little bit of an awake and anything in me, dot gif. <laughs> totally not a usual pick, but it's from Shadowheart. It's all, I, I, yep. And I just, that was pretty hot. I feel like I can't, I can't decide if I'm going to reload here. I feel like my character would probably be, allow themselves to consort with a devil. You know, there's like that little bit. There's that little bit. Maybe we let it happen. I feel like I I also don't want to erase that nice scene there of Shadowheart's confidence and being like, well, she's had the inferior thing. You know, now she knows what she has with me. And her kind of permission of it, I think, is an interesting dynamic. We, we had this discussion, so I won't go into it again before with the bear scene. Um... Maybe we let it sit for this one. Will really disapprove, but I think otherwise we've kind of got away with it. And I feel like it's an interesting kind of pull still from my character where, yes, she's trying to be good, right? She's trying to, like, let that dark urge go. She's trying not to kill. But there is still this seed of kind of a darkness, of a decadence, of a lust, of a greed, of a, like, taking pleasures in things where she's been so good for so long maybe last night she let it get the better of her in a way that she knew would probably not hurt someone at least not physically she's not killing to sate that lust but she did something impulsive and let go to feel it again to like to like let that dark urge out a little bit and we'll see how it plays out maybe I'm going to regret this going forward with it but I think with that in mind everything I just said, we can leave that as a canon character mishap and mistake. And I think she probably does regret it. But she did it last night. It was a thing of like, oh my god, I'm just gonna I'm gonna do this, you know? Um Right, let's try and get this hag. We'll move on from there. We can't be f you know, it's it makes sense for it to not be instantly right, I'm not gonna kill anymore. I'm pure of heart now, guys. And then just never kill and never make any mistakes and 
she's very lucky that she's got someone in Shadowheart to forgive her for it, you know? Let's see where it leads us. Now. So we're going to destroy these, are we? Good looking. It's into turn-based modes. I think that's what's going to stop it from healing itself too quick. For us. Is that blood? No, never mind. Need something else on it. Here she comes. So let's do it. It's not just me. Okay. Come, darlings. Help, Auntie. What? I already beat them. What do you mean? <gasps> Did they wake up because we long rested? Ah, oh, I think they did. They were unconscious and that's why they weren't in the previous fight. But because we long rested, they are now awake. I mean, I'm impressed that the game knows to do that. Like it actually passed time. Damn it. Well, I'm not going all the way back. So. Careful. If the hag dies, the child does too. Looks like they're not making it. Sorry. Um. Okay, guys, we're gonna need to take out those mushrooms. Get to it. Maybe we should go straight into uh, Albert. Ah, I should have conjured an elemental before I did this. Do you know what? It's too late. Don't worry about it. Need to find a way forward. Okay. Can you get it? And they did threes. Let's end this. It's not good. Heading there. I think a sunbeam's gonna be the one. Ah, good job, babe. Increase armor class. At least the other two, I mean, kind of a good thing the other two died then, so we're only fighting two minions and not four. She is so powerful though. God. Like, almost dead already. fearful instead and <laughs> oh, it's so creepy let's have some courage misty step your butt over there okay that's good Gonna be doing some good damage. It's the last one, so we just wanna. Got to press on. We can 
just get a hit on it. Before it burns. I didn't get a turn? Did the weapon die immediately? No, it's still there. Did we get it? Oh, we got it with just the flame. Nice. Okay, so we got all three. Now we just have to do passives. Non-lethal, I mean. <laughs> she wasn't the real one. Use the crushing flight, maybe? Bum, bum, bum. There's another one. <laughs> Carlax back. Do we still have non thingy? There we go. Why are you laughing? He ha ho ha ho ha. I'm going to enjoy this. Get her. Oh, she wasn't real either. Is she? We need to heal. There's a big old healing potion right there. Be quick. <sighs> Why does my eyeball not work? Is the app maybe maybe if I'm not in Albear it'll do it. Is he dead in here to animate? Nope. What could I do? If I had an idea where she was, making water would help. Where would she be? We've been around there, so maybe she's down here? Missed. Can't give up. I know what you could do. See if she shows up. There's heels going. Can you? There she is. Not these insect plagues. There's so much damage. Honestly, if I come out of the owlbear form, I want to use that wand we took from her last time as sort of a poetic revenge for that corpse. God damn it, Astarian. Where is she? Gotcha. This is the real one, too. Can't move because of the terrain. Damn it. Need to get out of here. Ugh. Such pain. Not trying to kill her, but. Do some damage before. Stay focused. I don't want to step myself in here, do I really? Get up, Astarian. Big heels, baby. Or anything. 
big fight this chapter, isn't it? This is the biggest one of the last few hours. So much damage. Such a shame that's a critical miss. On. Here we go again. Get a mm. heal up. Bye forever, pal. And now use your do we have a stun? The concussive smash, possibly days. We should frenzy up. Turns into a frenzy. Gain frenzied strike and enraged throw. Oh, I don't know. Maybe just hit her with the thing. Good. Days. Nice. Now do that. That's good. And what's the backbreaker? Knock them prone? If you land this. Oh, she was saved from going prone though. Dude, Astarian has six health. What happened to all of that, like, healing stuff I gave you? I, I swear I gave you so many potions. Right, Misty, step your butt out of there. And try and stay alive, won't you? She's too far. Damn it. Oh dear. Can you hit her with anything that far? Target's blocked. It wasn't too far for the Witch's Bolt, was it? Oh no. What was it that I cast there where it wasn't? It actually was going to do it. Not enough movement for the Ice Storm. The Ray of Frost. Are you like blinded right now because you're not able to hit anything. You're taking two to five damage every turn. I mean, I could wall of... Uh. She's too far away, I think. She's a bummer. The Witch Bolt. Uh. Conjured Elemental. that can do something. And then just stay alive if you can. That one would only get you. One of my best heals. I don't want to do the preserve life because that does everyone in the area. So if we just... It's just, I feel like if she goes for you, you're not ever going to survive it, but... Oh, and I don't want to run through those, so we'll wait here. This Boon of Servitude. Did she just heal? What was that? Shape it up again. 
get some another life of health out of it and just try and keep her in this corner if we can. Step out of the insects. Darling! Beat her up! Beat her up! I've got to stop her from casting this bloody swarm. We need you, Astarian. Just go ahead. Man. Risk it for the biscuit, my man, because you've only got eight health anyway. And then... Just hit her with it. I don't think it's going to kill us. That's fine. But it will get her life down. And let's bring you up this way, too. Oh! Oh, that's uh, terrifying. Hit it with the... Guiding Bolt. That's me! Oh, for God's sake. It ha happens once a video. <sighs> Bloody hell. What is wrong with me? Alright, mass healing. Mass healing? Uh, I mean... It doesn't bring Karlak back, so we need to revive her, but... Do that for now. Oh, I can't believe I hit myself with the guiding bolt. So stupid. Would have killed Astarian, but I feel like she's gonna hit again. No? Okay. Maybe not. Elemental warp, multi attack. She's got 19. It's looking good. They're dying for me, all of them. Come on. Knocked out. The Ethel lies unconscious, her stomach bulging from the child she ate. Cut Vanra out. Gross. You're Venra, right? Your mum sent me. I love that Shadowheart takes the takes it over. Is she cursed to not talk? Oh. I mean Shadowheart is, but not yours. Well done, guys. We made it. And the other two are alive? Wait, you're alive? Where's, um... Ah, oh, yes. Perfect. Actually did it. Right, let's get Karlak up. Use your actual revive. Awesome job, everyone. There we go. Stop me up. She's dead. She's actually dead. Oh my god, she's so twisted up. It looks grim. Tarnished charm. Fey life. Easier for the wearer to succeed death saving throws. Um, her wand or whatever, her star. Fey wild sparks. While your sorceress tides of chaos feature is active, trigger wild magic surges when casting spells. And her great axe, which just looks like we'll leave those. Auntie! Okay, she's right there, it's cut open and dead. Very well. He did it. I've raided warships. Four. Every beastie the sea can throw at you. And I've never flinched. Not once. But Ethel? Umberly's tits. She snapped her fingers and had me. I would have died for her. Wanted to. Then you showed up, armed to the teeth. You could have killed me, been right to, but you didn't. 
You have an old captain's thanks. All right. Well, I've dealt with her before. Knowing and doing are two different beasts. And one is a hell of a lot harder than the other. You're welcome in the maid. Any time. The old girl is as much your home as she is mine. And I'll gut anyone who says otherwise. <laughs> awesome. A great outcome. I wonder if I can uh, talk to Dead. The corpse has nothing to say. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> where is that mask of vengeance oh it's out there where they died I think or oh wait she summoned in the bodies as well they just didn't work right well that's uh that's where we'll put a pin in this one if you've made it to this point thank you so much I hope you enjoyed the journey and I will see you in the next part there are some videos on the screen if you want to go and watch something else with me right now or just head down below the video and leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite part was um, until next time good night